Uh, we live? Uh, we live? Seems good. Let's continue with some Terraria. Oh, and pirates are approaching from the east. Lovely. Uh, what gear am I wearing? Ranged with boss fight gear, so we have two invulnerabilities. Uh, the meow throw is going to be very helpful. Dart rifle should probably be using crystal darts, so I don't have to aim really. Do we have crystal uh, crystal shards? Here we go. Gimme, give gimme. Give we got only three. Well, that's actually quite a lot of, of darts. Um, where am I? Here they are. Cursed darts. Get out of here. Probably. I should definitely get explosive ammo for the Mega Shark. Do I have that? I've got cursed. Um, I don't think I have explosive bullets handy. Yes, I do. Fantastic. All right. Hey, Jimbo Panda. Good to see you again. Oh, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, we're out of time. I wanted to add more buffs. Let's get summons sorted out. Okay. All right. And I'm kind of stuck here. Uh, well, there we go. Okay, this is actually looking easier than expected so far. We've got more deeps than I'm used to having when the pirates show up early. We've got the explosive bullets so that we can suppress several of them at once, keep them from firing. I could use the uh, crystal darts to similar effect as well. And we've got two invulnerabilities. All in all, this doesn't seem that bad. Oh, I should definitely use my buffs. Let's not underestimate the pirate army. That would be bad. I'm not seeing many... Oh, here we go. I was going to say, I'm not seeing many ranged attackers right now. Those are the ones we have to worry about. And the, uh, the birds are surprisingly deadly. They're less like parrots and more like intercontinental ballistic missiles. Alright, this is going quite smoothly, actually. The suppression from the summons is also very helpful, so I can just keep hitting whatever's over here. Pirate Captain is the one I least want to be able to shoot at me. Fantastic. The explosive bullets tend to bunch them all up so they all get hit at once as well. And here comes the main event. Okay, I think this is a job for Meow Meow. Oh, it very much is. I gotta be more careful though. I think I just wasted both of my invulnerabilities. I love this weapon. Oh. And how about you have some of this? Fantastic. That's a lot of damages. I don't think I've ever deleted a uh, Flying Dutchman when it's the first one I've seen in the playthrough that quickly before. Calamity items be kind of strong. I kind of do want the uh, cursed darts actually on... on the dart rifle so that I can apply damage over time and switch to it, uh, switch off of it. 
Also, we can, like, rain cursed flames on a bunch of them, although I don't think it's that effective. Ooh, what's this? Midas Prime. 97 rate. Oh, we beat them. Fantastic. I hate the parrots and captains. Yeah, they're nasty. All right, there's our Flying Dutchman trophy. Let's get it placed in the trophy room. Right after I switch this off. There we go. Uh, according to boss log, it goes right after the pirate invasion. Wait a sec. Oh no, the pirate invasion doesn't have a... Yeah, okay. So what was our last? Wall of Flesh. Oh, Wall of Flesh is here. Okay. So Flying Dutchman... Relic goes here. Um, I like to keep all the gaudy pirate loot in one chest somewhere. How about... How about over here? Gaudy pirate loot. Whoops. Gold and this, gold and that. Pirate deckhand banner can go in here. Golden chair. Golden platform. Oh, we got the black spot already. This is our first uh, truly flying mount. Although, I want to keep the gelatinous pillion handy for combat. Maybe I'll hold this in the piggy bank. Flying Dutchman Trophy. Sure. Midas Prime. 92 range damage, very slow. 22% crit strike. Oh my goodness. It's quite accurate. Does that reload sound do anything, or is it just like aesthetic? Flying Dutchman mount was insane during my vanilla 1.4 master playthrough. Yeah, I understand it used to be, like, wasn't it the fastest mount? Accidentally binned all the golden furniture? Oh. Most games... In most games, control click does this. Whoops. Well, I don't particularly care that much about this loot, thankfully. Um, we're actually running out of places where I'm putting chests. That's kind of nice. Struck enemies drop extra coins. Right click to throw a coin in the air. Hitting the coin with a bullet redirects the shot into the nearest enemy. If you have multiple coins up in the air, bullets will first redirect first toward other coins. Up to a maximum of four. <laughs> Coin ricochets will increase the damage of the bullet. Provided the coins have been in the air for long enough. Coin throws consume gold and silver coins. But I get it back? Or do I only get it back if I hit it? Does it like... Oh, yeah, it gets destroyed. Interesting. Let's grab a target dummy. And a super dummy. Alright, turn off the summons. Uh, up we go. 190 damage. I don't know that it's worth the effort. It's cute. It's... It's a fun gimmick.
Um, let's put this back. And banner goes over here. What else have I got in here? Nothing? Really? Well, maybe... No, the dart rifle does more damage. And it's way easier to use with the crystal darts. Yeah, I don't think I'll actually be using this. Um, but it is an amusing gimmick weapon. Let me put this away. Um, so before that happened, well, if, when I finished the last stream, we were trying to figure out how to kill Duke Fisher on this early. I'm very close to it. I was going to set up uh, a journey world so I could just practice killing Duke off stream, but it takes a surprisingly long amount of time. Alright, so we're going to use Cursed Bullets against Duke, I think. Well, what bullets do we have available? I'm pretty sure the Cursed Bullets have the highest direct damage. Crystal Bullets can be higher, they're a bit inconsistent. Um, I, I think they are generally higher. At least if it hasn't changed much. I actually did a video doing the science of this a long time ago. Um, let's see, 26 range damage, 49, God Slayer Slug, can I make this? I don't think so. Yeah, I definitely don't have Cosmolite bars. Uh, so we got high velocity bullet, that's actually almost as much damage, but it's slightly easier to hit with. 22% crit strike is the same. Uh, Venom bullet. Oh. I think Venom bullet might be a little better for the damage over time, but it's still, because we're just going to be constantly hitting all the time, it's going to work out to be less damage, I think. So yeah, we're going to go for cursed bullets. Um, unless... What do we have here? Acid round. Plague cell canister. I don't think I have those handy. It's not even... Well, it is more damage. Cursed bullet, that's what we're using. Derp. Okay. Can you get chlorophyte bullets? No, not yet. Um, we're doing an early Duke Fish run kill. So that's one of the challenges. But mainly it's the fact that our DPS is relatively low. So getting through the final phase is tricky to say the least. Because it, it takes longer than normal. Alright, buff potions. We've got... Good food, omniscience, uh, iron skin, regen, max health, endurance, vision, movement, uh, what else? Featherfall? Grav? I'm not going to use magic this time. Thorns? I could do another summon. But the amount of extra damage we're going to get from that is pretty much trivial. We definitely want Rage and Wrath. Uh, theoretically, Inferno would stop the bubbles, but I don't think it ever really comes to that. We definitely want Flipper Potions, believe it or not. Because if we... Uh, if we time it when we're flipping gravity, falling up... Uh, when we're falling down here, when we flip gravity... If we time it just before we hit the water, we'll actually go into it. Uh, and that will slow us down quite a lot unless we're using a flipper potion. Heart reach? I don't think that's 
gonna make a difference, but they're cheap anyway. What's this? Can I make it? I think I can. Cadence Potion. Life regen, heart pickup range, max life by 25%. It's just combining them. We're not getting anything extra. I mean, we're getting some inventory space, I guess. Love potion. How do we make that again? Princess fish, silver thorn. Or we could make it out of blood orbs. Oh, we can make this out of blood orbs. That's pretty convenient. It's a bit expensive. Um, but it would reduce... It, it would give me more inventory space just by a little bit. Maybe maybe in the future. Uh, Hunter Potion is in the Omniscience. We're not using Archery right now. Although... Maybe I should just check something. Um, do we have a... I don't have any hallowed bars yet. Uh, left, rather. I could make a hallowed repeater and I'll check the DPS and if it's comparable to Unreal Mega Shark. Um, then we use the hallowed repeater with archery potion. Whoops. Grab our Deathweed while they're blooming. Fantastic. And place the seeds. How come no chlorophyll? I thought you could mine it after defeating all three mech bosses. Uh, is that so? Uh, that might be worth looking into. <laughs> Let's double check that. I'd need to go kind of deep to find some. Oh, that's right. It's the, uh... We can make a hallowed pickaxe, right? Let's kill the easiest of the mech bosses and probably not bother using any buff potions. Or maybe just the cheapest ones. Oh, hello. Uh, I probably should use Grav, though. It's still taking a minute. Losing track of where he is. There we go. And let's reverse gravity. Fantastic. Actually, maybe the Destroyer is the easiest of the mech bosses now that I have Meow Mare as well. Oh, not Meow Mare, it's um, Meow something. It's not the drop from the uh, Moon Lord. That's it. Um, I could still use the, what is it called, Plasma Rod? To apply Shadow Flame, but it's really just fallen by in terms of how much damage it does at this point. If I could get maybe the Shadow Flame knife, that might be worth using to apply dot.
Yeah, this isn't taking too long. Or doing that much damage to us, actually. There we go. Give me those hallowed bars. 27 seems good. Uh, alright, let's get ourselves a... I want to get the hallowed repeater as well. Can I do that? I think we need souls from all three bosses, like just one. Uh, for the hallowed pickaxe. Is that right? Drax. Oh no, it's called pickaxe axe. Drax is the drill. Which is the same thing, but with worse range and horrible, horrible, horrible noise. Maybe it's a bit better at digging through, like, small things. Alright, get get out of here, Mithril. Pickaxe. Where's the hallowed repeater? Mineral mortar. It's a bomb that explodes into sand sharks upon death. Lol. Atomite particle accelerator? 117 rate 177 range damage. Charges and fires two beams of opposite polarities. Hitting the opposite polarity increases the da good grief. I might have to give that a try. I'm getting distracted. We want... Oh, I've only got 11 hallowed bars now. God damn it. Alright, let's try this thing. Oh my goodness. You can only fire two shots at a time. What ammo does it use? Nothing? I don't think it uses any ammo. That alone is pretty good. One hallowed bar short for a repeater, yeah. I guess we'll kill the uh, twins again. Does this pierce? Oh my goodness. Holy crap. Alright, we're re-rolling this thing. Wow. Um, could... Could you not, actually? Th thank you. Uh, reforge. Unreal. Fantastic. So, is Meow Thrower now redundant? I'm a little sad. I was really enjoying that weapon. What's our deeps right now? Seven, eight thousand. It at least it peaked over eight thousand. Good gravy. Oh, meow. Uh, meow thrower actually keeps up pretty well. No, it's still lower. It's maybe a lot easier to use in some cases. But I definitely want to try this thing against the destroyer. Preferably while I've still got my buffs active. Um, can we sell this? Mithril pickaxe. Get this other stuff out of my invent. I'll just put it here for now. Alright, destroy a turn. Preferably without killing... Oh no, did I do it right before dawn? And it killed the guide and didn't do anything else. I'm sorry, guide. That's unfortunate. Why don't we bring the goblin army? I want to try and get a shadow flame knife. And, uh, I don't know, any other bosses I could delete with this? Nothing particularly useful right now. 
I think we already got everything from Queen Slime, right? Okay. What is the steampunker doing here? Oh, did I make this her room? Temporarily? Yeah. Does it count as arenalist if I make some farming areas with conveyor belts? Probably don't really need farming areas, since Calamity is so good about letting us craft things that used to just be rare drops. Oh, this is insane. It's literally one-shotting the warriors while it pierces everything. It's actually pretty good for single target as well. Jeez. And we got the shadow... Oh no, that's the hex doll. I'm looking for the knife. Maybe I should check if it's craftable, actually. Oh my god, I just realized how powerful this is going to be against the, um... Eternia Crystal event. This is like... This is almost like Moon Lord level stuff. The Goblin Army has already been defeated. Good... Gravy. Spawned at 429, yeah. <laughs> okay. The first Shadow Flame. Oh, I think I've seen this. Increases max minions by one and minions inflict the Shadow Flame debuff on enemies? That's fantastic. And yes, I got it already. It's over here. Um, stack these away, wherever. I really want to compare the repeater. Let's just try killing fish run with the mega shark, and if if we haven't succeeded by night time, we'll try the repeater. Oh, um, do I even have the means to summon him? I don't right now. This is one of the few bosses that we have to farm to have a chance to fight him. We just need to get truffle worms. I think down here might be better for looking for the truffle worms. Or I could take the clentaminator to the underground jungle. Wait, we need to go there anyway to look for... to see if we can mine chlorophyte now. So what does it mean by hitting with the opposite polarity increases damage? Does that mean if I hit something twice it takes more damage? Because it's not like I can shoot the blue beam with the red beam or vice versa. Um, I need a circuit so that... Whoa, 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 nope, nope, nope. How dare you. I need a circuit so that we can maybe find the worm a bit more easily. Get it to spawn. I have no double jump. That's not what I usually go for. But we've got some very competitive choices for what goes in our inventory right now. Our accessory slots. Alright, I want... Honestly, probably just dig straight up here. So that we have a circuit to look for the worm.
Let's get some Aziz light. Some mining speed. And dig through here. What did I just find? Uh, nothing too exciting. Maybe while I'm playing ranged, I should use the Meow Thrower in place of the sword. That seems good. And we've got a super easy to use short-ish range attack in the slot where I usually reach for that. Frickin' glowing snails are always teasing me when I'm looking for the truffle worm. Maybe this isn't the best spot, actually, to look for it. Movement's kind of awkward. There's a lot of underwater tiles. What about up here? Uh... If I drain the water, it's going to be a lot better. I think I want one of them as a fishing spot. Which is better? This one is... The one I'm in now takes longer to get to. And this has got to be 300 water tiles already. I think. So what if we drain this of water? Especially the top one. And I might want to... Let's drain both of them. Dig down here. Isn't this where I was... Yeah, this is where I was getting water to come down so that I could make obsidian before, anyway. That's annoying. There we go. Alright, so we're going to dig through this. Fantastic. Uh, Pummeluff Power, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Should probably not use my best ammo with the Mega Shark right now, even if it is quite easy to farm. Can I buy gel in Calamity? That would be very convenient. It takes a while to run out of ammo for these thing, uh, for these gel using flamethrowers, but it does happen. Should probably put a block of mud right about here. And here, dig through this, give me that ore actually, why not? And I have a suspicion that, um, like the prismatic lacewing, the truffle worm basically counts as a monster for the purposes of spawning. So we're going to put down a water candle. Maybe I should just dig this thing out. Or at least the part of it that keeps getting in my way. 
seems good. And it's gone? Oh no. Let's clean away all the stuff on the ground so that we can see better. Actually, why don't I get rid of the mushroom trees? They'll grow back. Don't have to replant them manually or anything. Get out of here, torches. Maybe I should get a hunter potion. I don't really want to waste a potion of omniscience on this. We do have the guide to credit companionship. Fantastic. I kind of want that to be a material, but what would it get upgraded into? At this rate, it's going to be night time. It is going to be night time soon. I guess we can get that hallowed repeater after all. Oh, I should still be picking up worms. Whoops. I left one downstairs. Getting a lot of mimics. I think we already got everything we need from mimics though. Calamity gives us double drops, no, quadruple drops from them. Makes it just a little easier to farm everything from mimics. Why don't we just dig up here? Why not? I don't really want to crawl through that stuff on the right. Okay. You removed water candle? Oh, good point. Uh, let's see. Can I get... Could you be persuaded to stop distracting me? Thank you. Let's put the water candle up here. Should be in here somewhere. There it is. Fantastic. Having water walking on all the time is a luxury I've been become accustomed to, and Terra Spark Boots are quite the thing to farm in vanilla. So as I was playing uh, Journey, obsessively collecting everything, oh, there's one, haha, one down, I think we want at least three. So that we can try again while the fight is fresh in our mind if we fail. And if we succeed, we can start farming him. The Blood Moon is rising. How much do I care about the Blood Moon right now? I don't think I care at all, actually. Especially because we can summon it at will. Have we done the Blood Moon in hard mode, though? I don't think so. There's one. Get him. So we're, we're up to two now, right? Under the water candle is one. Was that the one I just got? It's not down here, is it? No, it would have fled.
It seems like standing around up here is sort of surprisingly effective. Although we'd probably have to kill monsters. To make room for the spawns. We're going to incidentally farm a few more other things while we're here. Oh, there's one. Alright, so that's three. Oh, no, 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 no. Why did that miss? Holy crap. I think we were like two frames away from the truffle worm fleeing there. Also, a potion to increase spawn rate? Oh, uh, yeah, there's battle potion. I was hoping it wouldn't really be necessary, but yeah, I think next time we will use that. There's also one that drastically uh, increases the spawn rate. I haven't tried that one yet. There's two worms right there. Gimme, gimme. Fantastic. Did we just go from three to five? With one swing? This seems to be a good spot now. Alright, let's go kill... I want to try the destroyer with this weapon. Get him away from the town a little bit. And the longer we can get this thing hitting multiple segments, the more effective it's going to be, I think. Oh yeah, that is chunking him. So much for getting him away from the town. Okay, okay. I meant to do that. I was I was just burning one of my invulnerabilities to to deal damage. Ha ha. Ha ha ha. Yeah, that's that's what that was. It's not that much more effective than I thought it would be compared to the uh flamethrower. easier actually. Much easier to get the angle and the damage I think. Fantastic. I thought Zerg was Alchemist NPC mod? Uh, well, it's in Calamity. I mean, it's in the mod pack I'm using, and the I'm only using Calamity and a couple of quality of life mods, so I'm pretty sure it's Calamity. Um, I need to make room in my inventory. Let's stack some stuff. Put that away. Ooh, should we try... We're probably powerful enough for some of that Blood Moon fishing. Well, not some of it. More to the point, Dread Nautilus. That's the one that's really... something we have to think about. So let's try hitting Dread Nautilus. Um, it's the perfect time since I'm already wearing everything we need for... Uh, Duke Fisher on.
I should swap my fishing rod as well. Um, this one? There we go. Could, could you stop? There we go. There's also essence of something I didn't pick up earlier, but that's pretty easy to obtain. Oh, that is so easy. Let's use the cursed bullets. Come to think of it, maybe I should get the chlorophyte bullets for Dread Nautilus. Uh, what do we got? Two minutes left on the Blood Moon. Never mind. Shark. Uh, I need, I need that. Give me the. No. Oh. Give, give me the shark fin. Or it despawns, please. I mean, it won't despawn quickly, but if there's too much other stuff on the ground, uh, we do want blood orbs as well. Why are you in there? What? How? How did? What? Why was this open? What? I didn't even see that. Okay, um... Let's just put these banners here. And let's not drown. What is my void bag full of? My void bag is full of cringe, basically. Oh, oh, I don't want to fight that right now. I'm not prepared. Maybe I am prepared, but I'm not mentally prepared. I think the Alchemist NPC mod adds an NPC who just sells it. Oh, okay. Uh, what can I do about this? And could you stop with the... Oh, the zombies knocked down the big doors. That's how that happened, and that's why I keep falling through the water with the uh, angel treads, because the water level is changing with the pump. Hmm. I might have to rethink this uh, this design here a little bit. Alright, well, let's go get some chlorophyte bullets. And let's sort out our inventory as well. Essence of, get in there. Um, loot all. Legendary, this can go here. Loot all quick stack. Illuminate bat banner. Uh, loot all quick stack. Loot all quick stack. My inventory sucks. Alright, let's do something about this. Sell, 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 sell. I'm not gonna use glowing snails. Let's just sell those. We can stack these away. Loot ball quick stack. Is this not skeleton? I'm surprised I didn't have a skeleton archer banner in here. Red husk goes in here. Spiky balls. Bombs. And what's... what are these? I think I've got several fungal carapaces outside of what's in the void bag. Already. Oh, that's the wrong room. I've got one in here. 
Well, they seem to be incredibly easy to acquire, so let's just sell that. Chrono devours his lunch, or Crowno. The angler has arrived, fantastic. Uh, I should probably move the pirate to where he would be happy. This was the painter's room. I need to fix that. I mean, this the truffle being here is good, but... Let's put these in the boss summoning chest. Let's sell these. Uh, is this the first depth meter I've had? No, it's not. Zombies can only open doors during blood moons, though, so it should be mostly fine. Yeah. I just didn't realize they could open tall gates. Star cloak. Surprised I don't have any of those stored here. Or we just don't have room to stack them. Magic dagger is just for selling. Looped all and empty. Fantastic. Don't need any more of these either. Titan glove. I'll collect. All right, we finally got our inventory nice and clean. I was going to go over and harvest um, water leaf, but we just missed the rain. Did we get the hallowed bars? Yes, we did. Let's check that hallowed repeater with archery potion. Oh my goodness. 101 range damage. Okay, so that's definitely gotten the Calamity buff treatment. 117 damage. And... What does DPS meter say if we're using basic arrows and bullets? With the gear that we're wearing, Mega Shark it peaked over a thousand damage. It actually peaked over eleven hundred DPS, and it's consistently over nine hundred. All right, what about this? Seven hundred, eight hundred, nine. Okay. I think we might be better off going arrows. Although... We do have this 10% um, increased damage, which doesn't care about weapon type. Normally we would be putting in... Uh, a magic quiver. And we can upgrade that to Molten Quiver already, I think. So we lose like 3% damage if we swap this out. I guess we just won't do that. We gain... You know what? I should just spend an Archery Potion to compare this. Uh, Archery Potion. Here we go. That is... I want to say about the same. I was going to say it's higher, but I think that was just variance at first. I think it's a little bit lower, even with the archery potion. Okay, um, and the Mega Shark is a bit 
easier to use and uh, also we've already got the cursed bullets but it was surprisingly close Let's put the bars away. Maybe I should... Hmm. Do I have a spare brain? Probably. Where did I put it? Oh no, the spare brain was turned into this thing. I could go get another brain of Cthulhu. Reroll that to menacing. Probably not re-rolling Angel Treads. Um, they are a bit more difficult. Uh, they're, they're probably going to be expensive to roll. And to duplicate, they're going to be a bit more of a problem. It's actually quite cheap. Relatively speaking, to re-roll this. Um, but basically what I'm thinking is... We're going to survive, like three or four hits regardless when we're in the final phase with Duke. So I should probably just go full damage gear. Because that's that's the thing that's making it hard the most. Um, I need to acquire another shield of Cthulhu, unless it's over here somewhere. I don't think I have a spare. And there's a type of wing that we can use that gives us more damage. I don't know if there's a wing type that synergizes with Hallowed. I was thinking of demon wings. We actually just need feathers. Soul of Night. We need to get some Soul of Night. Let's check if there's any other damage dealers. Bone wings? 30% defense while wearing the necro armor. We're not going to wear the necro armor. Hmm. Plus 30 defense, actually. Uh, that might actually be relevant. 10% increased movement speed, range damage, and crit chance. That's better than the demon wings, if we're doing ranged. I might have to com it, it's a lot more flight time as well, I think. Oh, it is a lot more flight time. Movement is 7.51 average. It's better horizontal speed. We don't get the defense regen and max life. But that's not what we're going for right now. Um, I think we have to try it. I think that 30 defense probably... Well, let's see. How much do we lose by switching to the Necro set? Uh, we go from 87 to 66. We're going to be net positive on defense, but we're going to lose our... We're going to lose one of our invulnerabilities. I don't think that's worth it. Especially if we're putting menacing on everything. But it might be worth... Oh, we don't get the damage buff unless we're using the necro armor. Okay, in that case... I could go 5% increased damage and crit. We just need a bunch of souls of night. Bee wings permanently gives the honey buff. Not bad. At night or during the eclipse. Lol. But we get better consistency and about the same with demon wings anyway. 
Flight time's worse, though. Alright, let's get ourselves some Souls of Night. Um, has my corruption biome spread much down here? Not at all, really. That's actually terrible. Let's have a look in more detail. As is light? It's barely spread? What? This is regular stone, right? Um, well, it's a start. I guess we're not getting souls of night from here for the moment. Where else are we getting them? I think the crimson was over this way. It came from defeating the wall of flesh. Let's find out. Take the random blink route, I suppose. If it, if there is no crimson over this way, I might transplant some um, uh, corrupt stone. Oh, it's a uh, rune wizard. Give me, give me your outfit. Actually, fantastic. I don't know if it goes so well with the purple dye though. What time is it? 6.32 p.m. Perfect. I need to kill... I guess it doesn't matter if it's nighttime or not for the bosses I was thinking of. But I need to kill... Oh no, I do need to kill the Eye of Cthulhu. Here's the Crimson. All the more reason I might want to put some... Uh, Ebonstone over there as well, actually. Do I have it in a chest somewhere? I think I do. Or did I transplant it all trying to spread it? I think I transplanted all of it. So we'll pick some up from down here where it doesn't seem to want to spread. And take it upstairs. Oh, when did this happen? I hope it's not going to threaten our town. No, it looks like we're fine. That tickles. I'm really not sure how this happened. It doesn't look like it was a trap. Or did I just expose it to more lava? Oh, this was the trap up here. Okay. Alright, so I want... Ebonstone. Ebonstone. Ebon... Ebonstone. And... Ebonstone? Should be enough to get it started. We can do the souls anytime. Oh my god, what is that? Earth element. Okay. 11k health. It's like a mini boss, I think. It actually seems relatively easy so far, but I'm fully prepared for it to suddenly charge at me or something. No, it's actually just quite slow. Okay, I thought that would be a mini-boss, basically. Intimidating Slag Magnum. Oh my goodness. 42 range damage. That's not that good now. Fossil shards that split into additional shards on... 
death. Aftershock. That is a... That is a pretty big... Sword. Insane knockback. Summons boulders from the sky on enemy hits. And it cuts through defense. Interesting. Hey, RPHL streams. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. No oxy game. I feel scammed. It's Monday. What do you mean? Can't you use a clem to make the biome? Uh, I don't know if I can get the purple dye, or whatever it's called. The, the purple stuff to spread the corruption in particular. How many souls of night are we looking for? Like 20 something? We've got three. I think we should just go kill the eye. Um, let's get ourselves our summons. Not the mechanical eye, although that wouldn't have been that bad if I had accidentally done that. That was pretty quick. And we need to re-roll the Shield of Cthulhu until it's menacing. Or I could just keep killing the boss until... Nah, it's fine. Let's see, Shield of Cthulhu. Menacing. Menacing. That's warding. We already have warding, thank you. No, we don't need warding four times, or five. There we go, Menacing Shield of Cthulhu. Um, what are we getting next? Uh, let's see. We've already got Menacing, Menacing, Menacing. Shield of Cthulhu will be Menacing. Um... I don't think I'm going to bother getting another pair of Angel Treads. Even if it's relatively easy, just the time it would take to look at how to do it is not really worth another 4%. Oh, we want the Brain of Cthulhu. That doesn't have to be during the day. Can we stack this stuff? But it does have to be in the Crimson. The Brain doesn't, like, enrage on the surface, does it? Maybe I should have fought it on the surface, but getting up there would have been too difficult at the time. Well, that was kind of quick. All right. Brain of Confusion. Fantastic. Let's get that one re-rolled to Menacing. Oh. oh, I messed up, but we got Menacing straight away. Alright. So we've got everything but the boots is Menacing. That's... Uh, Oh, we need to do the wings as well. Um, but that will be... Plus 9, plus 4, plus 4, plus 4, plus 4, plus 4. Well, it's going to be a lot of damage. With two invulnerabilities. Let's go get those souls of night. Brain of confusion can go in defense. This really needs to be emptied. Uh, all of this stuff... I should put in its own chest, or at least a mostly empty chest. The stuff that gives us the combined immunity to debuff stuff. Oh, there it is. I did have a spare... No, wait, I just put this in here. 
you absolute derp. Um, alright. Binoculars we don't really need. Quick stack all the things. What is this? Crimson torch, get out of here. Uh, empty. Aesthetic stuff goes over here. Geyser can get out of my face. Quick stack this stuff and that stuff. And what's this? Aerolite ore? That should have got quick stacked. There we go. Titanium ore. Uh, what's this? Collector's item weapon. Savage Bat Bat. Perfect. Oh, we got diamonds. How many souls of night do we have? We got 10, and I think we need... We need 25. Ouch. But they seem to drop a bit more often in Calamity. Alright, sell, sell, sell. Don't sell the bloody spine. It's worthless as money, but it is worth being able to re-summon uh, the boss. Alright, let's head over to... Ooh. Actually, we don't need that anymore, do we? We've already got one. I should build some kind of cool-looking bridge. I like how the lava area here is the entrance to where our evil biomes are. What's that? Nothing new? Alright. Let's put down some torches. Let's dig through here, I guess. Always good to find uh, places with lots of lava when you're trying to farm souls. See lots of enemies down there. Actually, yeah, let's use a uh, omniscience. And okay, okay, that's more than I bargained for. Yeah, the uh, Meow Throw is definitely still good. That would have been a lot more tricky if I was using the uh, Adamantite Particle Accelerator. Probably shouldn't use the good ammo here. Ooh, what's this? Let me in. Oh, that's going to be a little tricky, especially because I messed up. Hmm. You know what? How about an obsidian skin? As is light? Shlurpus, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Get out of here, you freaking whatever that was. Not you, Shlopas. You're good. Uh, this goes here, and now we can see what's in this chest. It's a flare gun! Thank goodness I went to the trouble. I think if I pick up the gold chest, it's going to instantly get destroyed. So I might just leave it. Especially since we're here to look for souls.
And we need 25 of them. Rip gold. Or silver, anyway. Oh, there's a soul. How's our inventory, I wonder? It's not that bad. What is... Oh, oh, it's you. Okay, that's not what I meant to summon. Alright, okay. I didn't know we could find these underground. Now we know. Alright. That was... unexpected. Do you know you have a rod of discord? Oh yeah, I forget that I had it. Partly because the Rod of Discord in Calamity is horribly nerfed, uh, there's a cooldown on it. Instead of being able to spam it but cast from health after the first use, it doesn't work for 15 seconds. So if I dive in here and then I'm just stuck in a little room like this, we're waiting another like 12 seconds or so. So I'm not as overjoyed that I found it randomly as I normally would be. Uh, I forget what it was, but I saw there's also a way, a way to get it that uh, makes it much more obtainable than in vanilla. But yeah, I did forget I had it, but that's partly because compared to vanilla it's a little disappointing. Pretty rough nerf, yeah. It's kind of weird considering that they buff everything else. Give me that. I have tried using the Ichor debuff to lower the defense of a boss to deal more damage to it, but it doesn't seem to be very effective. How many souls are we at? Six? It's actually six plus eight. Fourteen. Alright, so we're like halfway there. I could use a battle potion, but the enemies are spawning pretty fast as it is, actually. Um, could we maybe put down a water candle? Somewhere? Can I put it here? Yeah, I can. There we go. Oh, there's some souls down there. At least one, anyway. Down we go. May as well take the titanium. Okay, I kind of like... I did say the uh, rune hat and robe wasn't that good with purple. But I'm actually really loving the purple trail that I'm leaving behind. It's kind of neat. Jade Rose Stone. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. The, cro the Chaos State making you unable to use Rod of Discord for a pretty decent amount of time after use. Yes. I'm guessing that was not like a recent change to vanilla and it's just in Calamity. It would be a pretty big coincidence otherwise. Oops. Keep 
placing crimson torches badly. Could, could you, could you stop? There we go. It's actually shocking how, how much less threatening these enemies are compared to normal. Wait, and that's why, that's why I'm already wearing mostly menacing gear. Still, my defense is higher than it would normally be at this point. segments separately. Doesn't seem like the boss can drop any souls though, so it's kind of a waste of time. What are we on? 23, we're almost there. There's one or two souls at home as well. But I definitely want to have some remaining after I craft this so that we can quick stack. And preferably have a few remaining so we can maybe actually do something with them. Get stuck. Alright, we have 25. 26. Fantastic. Oh, it's daytime. I didn't know. Alright, let's stack things away. Do I not have... Vein Burster? I thought I did have this collector's item somewhere. Mystic Blood Path. Oh yeah, I remember this. Did I sell all of these as well? That's a lot of wrap to organize. But we do have a sell thing right here. I'm just gonna sell the bombs and this and quick stack. Do we have a perforated mask? We do. Well now we have two. Stack, stack, stack. Silt blocks go here. Uh, doesn't lead go over here? Yeah, it does. Looped and stack. Care about the chandelier. We've got vitamins. Ikor should go next to the cursed flames. These two go over here. This would be a lot easier if I wasn't filling my inventory with boss fight potions. Maybe I should do something about that. Or maybe instead of loot all, I should pick up a bunch of stuff together that has a similar theme, like stuff I am going to sell. What's this? Ikor Spear. Oh, I don't think we have those. Worm statue goes in statues. And we're almost there. Alright. What's this? Mummy shirt, get out of here. Need to fix the summons. Ah, 
I don't know, I only got into Calamity mod just recently. Alright, fair enough. Alright, inventory is cleaned up again. It's almost night time. Uh, I think the wings were the final step. How do I make them? Oh, we need feathers as well. And it is just an anvil. I've only got 17 feathers left. Here we go, demon wings. That gets our damage from 52 to 53. Maybe that's not worth it. Oh, but this is, um... This isn't re-rolled to menacing yet. No, not the angel wings. There we go. So... 52 becomes 55, that's more like it. And it also adds 5 crit. From 25 to 30. Alright, so we have Hallowed Armor. Ranged. Gives us 1 invulnerability every once in a while. Menacing Demon Wings. Menacing Shield of Cthulhu. Menacing Amalgamated Brain. Menacing Avenger Emblem, Menacing Ranger Emblem, Menacing Brain of Confusion, that's our second invulnerability, and Warding Angel Treads. Only 49 defense, but we're aiming to not take damage often enough to burn through our um, invulnerabilities. Are we ready? I'd like to make sure I have at least seven of all of these buff potions. So even if I die every attempt, we don't have to reorganize where they are in our inventory. Oh, I think I can just buy these. Uh, whoops. Whatever. Inferno. Where is Inferno? There it is. Uh, life force potion. And seafood dinner. can actually only make one more. Alright. Re-up all of our buffs. Go to the ocean. Close the door. Why is this not working? Oh, I never picked up this stuff either. It's mostly just... Oh, we, yeah, pirate maps are not consumable now. That's nice. Alright. I think this is it. Do we have ammo? 9,000 first bullets. Alright, it's on. Here we go. Why didn't that work? Oh, the bait is in the wrong order. Why, why is my grav potion not active? God damn it. Alright. Away we go. I should probably have the minimap active now. So that I 
notice when I'm about to run out of space. This boss fight is going to take a while. Our DPS is just not up to par. But I'm only really concerned about the last part. a bit rude. I guess the feather po fall potion isn't active because I haven't been holding it down but that was stupid. Luckily we've got our invulnerabilities. The bubbles don't matter too much with such a high rate of fire Im uh, weapon. shoulder is itchy. This is a disaster. Let's get back into the air. Potion? No, I think I would have got slowed down more than that. Okay, that I got disoriented. We just lost both of our invulns. It's okay. Uh, the amount of time we're going to take to get to the final phase, we should have both of them back up, I think. Where's my grav? Okay, 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 okay. It's been more than three minutes. And now Featherfall is working, now that I'm not used to it. I think I'll disable it next time. It's more key presses to do the same stuff most of the time. Alright, the fun part is beginning soon. That didn't work so well. This is it. Oh, the fact that he's on the Cursed Flames makes it so much easier to see where he's going to come from. Actually, dodging either way works, but it's really about the timing. Oh god, he's so fast. Why is he so fast? Just fly up and fall down, the grab potion is too complex, <laughs> lol. Uh, I'm gonna drop the feather fall. Because that didn't actually help, and sometimes... We have so many buffs that it doesn't consume more buff potions. Damsel! Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. How was your stream? Or the rest of it? Welcome Raiders. Are you using homing pots? I don't know what those are. It was alright. Brain no worky today. Yeah, I heard. Uh, let's stack this away and... I think we're about ready to try again. Let's re-up our buffs. 
I'll burn through these truffle worms. Uh, aiming isn't that hard, honestly, but like... If we have to try again after this set, we'll go see if we can get chlorophyte bullets. How much ammo did I use? Only like 1300. Alright. Away we go. Bullets, I'm brain dumb? What? Zayla, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. And away we go. Uh, where's my buff? Oh god. Grav potion hasn't worked. There we go. There's like two buffs missing here. Oh, I think I need to remove the water candle. Because it's taking up a slot. Uh, it'll only let us automatically buff so many. And apparently grab potion is one of the last things. So this is just the warm-up phase. Slower for now, and where is it? That's a bit scary. Uh oh. Okay, okay. up some of our buffs, make sure we don't run out of them halfway through the fight. Or I guess it means, if I press B, it means we did run out of some of those buffs. Probably just shine and stuff though. Alright, we're almost halfway there. But the real fight doesn't start until the last phase. Bubbles just in case. And we're running into space. That's not great. Let's not leave the ocean. He'll, he'll enrage. What is this buff? Inferno. Okay. Where'd he go? Oh, that was kind of close. Getting close to the... Oh, crap. Oh, crap. That was such bad timing. Where's my... Where's my grab? Jesus. Okay. Even when I'm pressing B, it won't add that buff. I definitely have to remove the water candle after this. Alright, the serious part's about to start. And... swap directions. Where is he? Okay, okay. Bad timing. Okay, okay, okay. That's no good. That's no good. Gotta fall fast. Fall fast. 
fall fast. It's actually better than a dodge, but I can't do it when I'm falling upside down. Come on, we're so close. Nope. I'm so stressed, lol, indeed. Yeah, it's a tough fight. The timing on when he teleports, gets ready to charge, and then if I dodge correctly the first time, it kind of sets me up to be hit by the second hit. Is there like a window where I can dodge where that won't happen? If I use the slime mount to fall faster, I can absolutely do that because there's not like a set distance and duration like there is with the dash. But I can't use the slime mount uh, to do that when I'm on the way back up. And that because our damage is relatively so bad, uh, that phase lasts long enough that I have to be able to consistently do it. He's too fast. It doesn't work. No, I've done it before. Uh, in fact, like, I've done it in vanilla, and these items are stronger, so it's definitely doable. Vlad the Imploded, I have faith in you. Thank you. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Do we still have... Well, we've got enough buffs for one fight anyway. Let's turn off this water candle. Oh, and we're also getting cozy fire from this stupid... Why isn't this working? Why is our pump broken? Uh, we're getting cozy fire from that chimney that I thought would be hilarious to put down there. Oh, it's not working because there's more water now? Um, that's kind of strange. Did we raise the sea le Oh no, is this climate change? Oh no. Alright, well we're gonna turn this off and we're gonna put the fireplace away. And then we're not gonna have two slots that don't get used up for our buffs. Um, I don't think we need the potion. Eh, it doesn't hurt. How many buffs are we going to have here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. If this counts as 3, 16, 17. Isn't it 20? Oh, that includes these buffs as well. And there's banners here. That didn't help. Get out of here, banners. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. There's still a banner. Where is the banner? Oh, it's down here. Alright, so there's five buffs when I come here. I shouldn't use the sharpened buff because it doesn't actually do anything. Same goes for clairvoyance. Bewitched is necessary. Sugar Rush helps. It only helps for the... Um, it only lasts two minutes, so we're not getting it for the part of the fight where we actually need it. So maybe I should not pick up Sugar Rush. Okay. So we're just getting ammo and bewitched. Alright, let's try again. Dump the excess seawater into the underworld? Because Union Aerospace Corporation? Easy? Perfect. Alright. Once more with feeling. Should have checked my ammo, but we only used 1300 in the last attempt. So that's probably fine. I have been able, when I'm, like, killing fish... When I'm just farming Duke Fisher on later on... To dodge all of his attacks... In the final phase, but... Uh, that's with more movement, like later game gear. Maybe I should swap some of the menacing 
Maybe I should swap a bit of damage for movement speed. Like plus 10, plus 12, uh, plus 8, plus 12 percent movement speed from accessories? Might actually make a significant difference. Alright, this part of the boss fight is like... We're not having a debate yet, just yet, it's just a conversation. We're, we're just... we're just vibing with each other. Like, I shouldn't leave the ocean though, that would be bad. Oop, that's a bit rude. What's the timer on the grav? Two minutes. It's more than two minutes. It says that. I should probably zoom out the map a bit more. I need to know where I am. That's the reason it's there. I was a bit lucky there. And that was burning one of my invulnerabilities. Okay. Away we go. Grab is gone, but I can press B and make it work this time. Fantastic. The Sharknadoes aren't really much of a threat um, when we're using this kind of movement uh, equipment. Alright, I want to be at the top of the map. Uh, I want to be almost as high as possible when he switches to his final phase. Let's see if we can do that. Perfect. I want to dodge the opposite direction. Oh, he does it three times. That's, um, unhelpful. How do I avoid him three times? easy enough with the slime mount, but with dodge? Okay, okay. I can't... Mm. I couldn't time the shield of Cthulhu dash to mitigate one of the hits. That's what I was trying to do at the end. I managed to kill him only after I changed my dodge pattern in the last phase, indeed. Alright, we have three more summons. Uh, I'm getting low on some of these potions. Let's go buy some. Very nice being able to just buy these things with Calamity. Are we low on anything else? Life Force? Not really. That should be fine for now. I'm gonna run out of seafood dinner. I don't really have anything. I don't want to use obsidian fish or farin koi for seafood dinner. At this rate, I'm going to have to do some fishing. Oh, I haven't opened these. 
I got a black pearl. Was like 10 bullets away, yeah. Maybe I should switch to like the uh, particle accelerator at the end. Something high impact. This is the highest impact weapon we've got. This is over 400 damage if both hit. Because we know where he's going to be at a specific moment. Uh, and the constant damage isn't as good. Do you have Party Girl? Uh, yes. Yes, I do. Why fish run before Plantera? Because we get some really nice gear that makes the next large section of the game a breeze. It's also fun and rewarding. Where am I going to put this chimney? Is fine, I guess. Banners go in here. Blood orb. It's this urchin stinger. All right, I guess we're doing some fishing. I need like, I need a few more uh, major improvements to stats, dinners. I don't want those running out. And unfortunately, as far as I know, we can't buy them. Uh, let's do some hello fishing since we're here. Whip out the old master bait. Bacon? By party center. Uh, wait, was that what I think it is? It is lightning bugs. These are just as good as enchanted night crawlers for bait, and sometimes. Sometimes you can get lots of them, just like uh, fireflies at the forest town. You can get bacon from the piñata? Serious? Piñata. I don't see any such thing. Needs to be a party. Oh, okay. I don't even remember killing a pixie since I got here. I guess that was the summons. Uh, do we have a fishing potion? Maybe I should use that. I'm literally just trying to get, like, a handful of princess fish so that we can make some seafood dinner. Maybe it would be easier to get fish that we can turn to seafood dinner in another biome. Get out of here with this salmon. Actually, I should probably do a fishing quest. I'm, I'm a bit tired of this uh, consumption of bait business. Underground Hallow... what was that called? Mirage Fish. Okay. Uh, this is actually the Underground Hallow. Why is it taking this long? I've got rod, I've got bait. Okay, be that way. Let's 
specular fish, that's what we're looking for. I mean, that's one of the things we're looking for. I think I can just buy endurance potions now, so I don't need armored cave fish either. Chaos fish, that's that works as well. Oh, there's our quest fish. Um could could you please take this off my hands? Thank you. And I'm pretty sure it's the Demolitionist. Yeah, Demolitionist sells Endurance Potions. So we don't actually need um, Armored Cavefish at all. Apprentice Bait Fishing Potion. This makes me sad. Okay. Um, but I, I might continue fishing here for a sec. Summon slash minion which shoots at enemies. What's the big star thingy? Yeah. Uh, the... The summoner class, or just every class really, because... If you, you're, you're gonna have like one summon no matter what class you're playing. Uh, I've got two at the moment because I have the bewitched buff from the, uh... What is it called? Bewitching table or something? But, um... Yeah, there's these summons in the Calamity mod that just pew-pew your enemies for you like that. They're by far the most reliable summons. That's handy? Yeah. The the one that you get from the Eye of Cthulhu shoots enemies through the walls. It's brilliant. That That's the moment when you know that Calamity's going to be a bit different. Alright, how many fishies do we have now? We got... Well, I could make two seafood dinners. We need multiple... We need two fish of the same type for one seafood dinner. Nice wall hacks, yeah. Alright, this'll... Wait, what was that? I thought I got specular fish. I thought I had three specular fish a second ago. Spec oh, it's up here as well. Yeah, we've got six. All right, perfect. Let's go. Um, fishies? Where did I put them? Oh no, where did they go? How many of these do we have? We can make seafood dinner out of armored cave fish. Yes, please. Not farin koi, not obsidian fish, because lava fishing is by far the most tedious. Prismite's really rare. Seafood dinner, fantastic. All right. I do wish there was a way to get. Well, I guess the bacon trick that someone was talking about would be what I was referring to, actually. Uh, I hope there's a way to get major improvement food consistently that lasts longer than four minutes. Bacon, indeed. Alright, I think we've got everything now. Uh, we actually don't want the sugar rush. Let's drop all of these. We want both summons. We want ammo. And we've still got 5,000 bullets. Fantastic. We want truffle worm as bait. We've got all of our buffs. We don't have random buffs from stations taking up a slot. And away we go.
Maybe this would be faster. I doubt it. Overall. Although, I wouldn't have to worry about ammo with this. Maybe I should have brought a DPS meter. Ow. Get more instant feedback with whether you're hitting the target with this, though. Also keeps our friend nice and visible. Especially when he starts teleporting. Alright, if I don't get him this time, I might take a little break. I'm getting a bit, like, kind of worn out. Yeah, I can hear the bullets hitting him when he's off screen as well. So that helps. Whoops, I messed that up. Evidently. That... that... are you serious? Why couldn't I fall faster? I mean, I know I got up to space, but I was using the uh, slime mount. That was a bit over the top. That's the first time he's juggled me like that as well. Glib Chlorophyte bullets a chance? Yeah, we'll do that after the break. I think they deal less damage than the cursed bullets, but if we switch to it for the last phase, that might be good. Let's check that we can get Chlorophyte bullets before we go. We're going to want Potion of Omniscience, a bit of defense, and light. I should have got the summons. Oh well. Let's go this way. Oh, and I could increase my max health as well, although it wouldn't make that much difference. We might survive one more hit, that's it. Life fruit. I need nine more to max out my health for this stage of the game. Plantera is actually easily one of the hardest bosses uh, if you're doing the arenalus challenge. What people usually do is just carve out a massive massive empty area and the main threat of Plantera is running out of space so we can indeed get Chlorophyte Ore, that's good um, I might start some Chlorophyte Farms because this stuff grows surprisingly quickly if you take it away like basically there's a limit to how much it'll grow on one screen roughly like, in a certain area. Um, but if you make some blocks of mud away from the jungle... Let's not use our good bullets. Make some blocks of chlorophyte... Uh, make some blocks of mud, rather, away from the jungle. Plant some chlorophyte in it. Uh, it'll spread a lot more and a lot more quickly if there's no chlorophyte nearby. Let's dig a little bit faster, shall we? Even faster than that, please. Fantastic. That's more like it. Ow. 
left for like 10 seconds. Wait, what? What are we doing? Chlorophyte over there. I used Chlorophyte bullets on Moonlord. Uh, yeah, I did as well. Because the, uh... I forget the name of the weapon, but it's quite inaccurate. The best gun before Moonlord. Allows you to focus on dodging, exactly. And the Chlorophyte bullets chasing, uh... Chasing the final phase of... Duke Fisher on certainly help as well. Alright, let's dig through here. And let's grab this as well. Could you be persuaded not to? Thank you. not terribly excited about the life fruit that this fairy is trying to show me. We will confirm. Oh, there's a chest. And nothing terribly good in here either. Um, let's just make sure we don't have to look at this chest again later though. Chlorophyte ore go here. Wait. Normally I do this so that we can tell we've been here. Oh, 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 I almost... There we go. Probably would have just used up one of my invulnerabilities, or specifically the Brain of Confusion one, because I can see that the other one isn't active. How much Chlorophyte have I got? 187. It's like 5 per bar and 60 ammo per bar, I think. We've got way more than enough to start a farm, though. I'll definitely use some of it for that. Gimme, gimme. Ow. I almost died. Alright, I think this is a... Oh, light fruit. Uh, how greedy do I want to be? Can I hit them some other way? Not right now, I can't. Oh, like this? Yeah, I don't want... I don't want you interfering, thank you. Fantastic. Oh, and a chest. What's the worst that could happen if I try and open this? Uh, again with the flare guns. What's with all the flare guns? Alright, you know what? Let's use a potion of return so I can come straight back there. And let's get some words on stream. During fish run fight, left for 10 seconds, came back dead. Rip. That's about how long the final phase... Oh, wait, no, that wasn't the... F that wasn't even the final phase, so I definitely should have taken a break sooner. Hey, Mucky. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Thank you for the sub. 12 plus 1 equals 13. Indeed it does. I can hardly believe it's been 13 months. Thank you very much. Where do I put this again? Oh yeah. Properties. And I think 
we're ready. All right, I'll be back in a few minutes. We'll start words on stream in about 30 seconds. Good luck, have fun, and I'll see you soon.
Okay. Let's continue, shall we? So first thing I want to do right now is set up a farm for Chlorophyte. Uh, whoops, there we go. Uh, and the way we're going to do that is just drop down the elevator. That's ash. I'm looking for mud. Do I not have mud? Surely I have mud. Um, that's the wrong tank. I don't think it's in here. This is odd. Okay, if we have dirt, we can turn it into mud. That's that's 10,000 dirt. Oh, here it is. Mud block. Fantastic. Alright, let's get this stuff out of our inventory. Uh, why don't we check the fishing quest while we're... How did this get here? <laughs> Plea for death was answered by Duke Fishman. <laughs> That's nasty. Caught in Hallow. Unicorn fish. Alright, let's grab ourselves one of the... You're joking! Oh no! Look what I was wearing last time I fought Duke Fisher on. And I didn't have the Brain of Confusion active. Uh, so we had zero invulnerabilities, way less defense, and significantly less damage than we should have had. I All of my accessories and equipment we're wrong. That helps. It's fine. This is fine. Oh, that was quick. That's how quests often go when you get enough fishing power. Quick stack. Uh, we're gonna... The gravestone is actually useful. I think there's another one up here. Yeah, there it is. Sometimes they bounce all the way off the map. Uh, we got these ones. Uh, the gravestones are actually useful because if you put... It turns out in Calamity it's like 20 of them, but in vanilla if you put five gravestones close together uh, you get a graveyard biome. And some of the NPCs sell things they don't normally sell you. Like the triad selling you the seeds for the opposite evil biome from what is in your world. This is our corruption area right here. Okay, so we're going to take our mud. Which I accidentally quick stacked again. No, I didn't. Where did it go? Is it in the void? Bag? Oh, that's a lot of crap. All right. Oh, the flare gun's a material. Flare gun plus shotgun plus gold plus pearl shard makes firestorm cannon. Uh, which is also a material. I think we made this dark spreader earlier, actually. Still in fishing gear, this is true. Thank you. Okay. None of this gear is wrong. Fantastic. I do have gear I like better for not boss fights, but this is... I don't want to go to the trouble of switching. Uh, what else do we have in here? That's for selling. Uh, I ended up putting this black pearl in the wrong place, I guess. Well, there's only one use for it. We're just going to use that to make 
as many luck potions as we can get. Wait. Oh, we can make it out of blood orbs as well. Okay. Luck potion? There it is. We got two. Fantastic. Alright, uh, we don't need more than one pirate map. The pirates were shockingly easy to deal with. Um, I'll probably farm them for some of the rare drops. In fact, maybe we should take a little break from Fisheron while we do that. Get a bit of a reset. Let's see, there's the coin gun, which is kind of a meme. Uh, there's... We already got the black, uh, the black spot mount. There's also the discount card. Where does this go? Over here. I should definitely put away these extra things I'm holding on to and never using. Um, how about... We're not using arrows. That shouldn't even be there right now. Alright, that's a little better. A uh, white pearl as well. Luck potion. Only one. Where was I keeping this? In here. Uh, we're saving up our crates until... Oh, this is where I was keeping luck potions. We're saving up these until we have a bunch of crates to open all at once. Salmon just makes sashimi. A uh, green mushroom goes here. These go over here. Whoops. Hot statue. Black ink. Hold on to the mud. And this chest can go here for now. Alright, did we finally clean that out? Yes, we did. Let's make some chlorophyte farms. I'm not sure how deep we have to go. I definitely found chlorophyte about here, so this should be deep enough. And we're going to make blocks of, like, probably 6x6 six six or something. 7x7. Seven seven. Of mud. Let's get some light. And then just one little bit of chlorophyte in the middle. And that will grow to mostly fill up that entire block, uh, as long as it's far enough away from any other chlorophyte. So we're going to put this over here. Oh, I don't like the double tap input for dash. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Fantastic. goes here. Is re-rolling weapons something you can do in vanilla? Yes. There is a little uh, mercy thing, shall we say, in Calamity, whereby 
if you re-roll something six times, if there's like an objectively best re-roll for it, you just get that on the sixth roll. Let's put another one right about here. Is that Calamity only? Because it sounds nice. Yeah, it's Calamity only. Calamity has a lot of little quality of life improvements. Like the uh, Terra Spark boots in vanilla are actually really difficult to farm the materials for. Um, but it's stuff like that. Uh, it's much, much, much easier to acquire. You can actually... I think it was... The wizard just sells you Rod of Discord, which is a ridiculously rare drop from the Chaos Elementals. Uh, I was actually excited about it. I got the Rod of Discord as a random drop early on in this playthrough, relatively early. But, um, and then I looked and the wizard was just selling them. <laughs> Alright, let's fill this out. Also, for some reason, Calamity nerfs the Rod of Discord. It has like a 15 second cooldown or something. Instead of if you cast it rapidly, uh, the next use of it costs health. Which I did not appreciate. Um, Alright, the next one we're going to put... I don't know, here. It's, it's something like 0.2% chance to drop every time you kill a... <gasps> is that what I think it is? It is. Uh, every time you kill a Chaos... Oh, crap! Oh, crap. Um... The, the, the eye that shoots through the walls thought it was helping. Okay. Um... Let's not use bullets on this because it will reflect... I'm surprised it's not flying at me. I'm very surprised it's not flying at me through the wall. No, 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 don't fall off the map either. Oh crap, oh crap. Okay, we got space, we got space, we got space. We're fine. This, will, this is fine. This is fine. Uh, where's my weapon? This thing. That would be a bit more effective, I think. High impact. We can be deliberate about when we use it. Although, it could just, like, two sh- How did that- How- What? What? What the... How? How did it hit me twice that quickly? Yeah, um, I think I'm gonna... I think I'm gonna stop taking the Death Stare Rod summon buff when I'm spelunking from now on. Because those mimics are pretty easy to beat if you have space. If you have space. Um, I should have been a bit more careful, but still, it was a really awkward spot. Lord Emperor Posh King Maza? Gotta love that name. Alright, let's stack this crap away. Where does this even go? Shouldn't it be in here? Let's finish setting up those farms. I can't believe you've done this. 
if I was too greedy, I should have just let it go instead of trying to fight it in such a bad spot. Throwing a party. Fantastic. I need to talk to the party girl. I thought she just gives you cake when she's throwing a party, but apparently you can get something that will give you good food. Fight or let's get some Aziz light. I probably should have popped all my buff potions as well. That was a little silly. Uh, how much further do I have to drop down? Oh, nope, nope, nope. We should drop down to like here to make sure the chlorophyte will grow properly. Could could you guys oh, okay. Two more. I definitely want one at town, so I just notice it from time to time when I'm not even looking for it. nice having it on the water. Boop, boop. And it also works perfectly well if you put this in the underworld. Let's put it... oh, I forgot about that teleporter. Let's put it down here where we won't have demons trying to snipe us. Where's my mud? Here it is. Let's get this sofa. What is this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Should be overkill. Hard to get in here though. And chlorophyte. Oh, doesn't have to be in the middle. It's fine. Pretend you didn't see that. Alright, let's make some bars and put it in the hard mode chest. Let's see what we can make with chlorophyte bars. So I see all the vanilla things, some of which might be improved. Traveling merchant has arrived. Uh, what's this? Lazhar. 149 magic damage. Oh, we need a heat ray. That's after Golem. But basically, we can upgrade this into an even more powerful laser. Fires a bouncing laser that explodes on enemy hits. Fantastic. My eyes? I saw it. Oh, no. Zopentrope. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. By Pinata. Yes, thank you. Good point. Uh, give me that cake, I guess. Did I get it? Yeah. 
Pignata. Pigronata? Is this it? Beat the shindig out of it. Oh, I may have bought more than I meant to. It's fine. Pigronata. Where should I put it? In the target dummy room, of course. Wait, how do I... Oh. Oh. And then... Sure enough, we shoot it. Where do I have a giant ceiling? How about down here? Wait, how full is my inventory? Not that bad. Alright. How, how do I place it? Oh, I have to... Can I not fit this here? How big is it? Fantastic. I got a flask of party. Wait, what? Oh, if I just... Wait, what? Okay. I think the grappling hook is like instantly... Well then. <laughs> what do you mean, why? Do you need a reason? Oh, we've got a mimic trying to say hello. Yeah, so I think it's... We're placing it on the ceiling and then grapple hook? Grapple hook breaks it. Oh, that's a flask of party. All attacks cause confetti to appear? Fantastic. That includes ranged? I thought it would be melee only. Was that changed from... Uh... Oh, that's fantastic. Look at that. Um... Even the summon... The summon is causing, causing confetti to appear. Beautiful. Um, where did our... Pig granadas go? My new favorite item, indeed. What is that emote? Oh, I love that. Perfect for marking the duke? Yes. We're getting a lot of party bullets. We've got 20 bacon already. What's the duration on bacon? 24 minutes? I'm going to feel a little bad about uh, wasting it on dying to a boss fight, but okay. Considering how... Oh, this is party bullet. Considering how easy these are to acquire. I mean, we did just spend a lot of money, but who cares? We can always get money. That's why I bought so many. So we got flask of party, party bullet, bacon... Uh, I think that's pretty much it. Party bullets have, unless they changed it or I'm misremembering, they have about the same knockback as explosive bullets. They just don't do the AoE. Oh, I'm gaining money back as well. Yeah, we're drop it's dropping money also. I'm sure it's not um, going to return as much money as I spent on it, but... Party parent. <laughs> We've got 44 bacon. And it lasts 24 minutes each. I could die like dozens of times and consume bacon just whenever I can with auto buff. 
and we still wouldn't run out of bacon this stream. You bought so much? Yes. Because you don't get a party every day, and you can always get money. We've got more than one stack of party bullets. I feel like these slimes are partying right now. You can force a party with party center. Oh. Those slimes are so happy. <laughs> yeah. That's what I was trying to tell you. Okay. Can you only get the party center um, during a party? No, I think I've bought it before. Yeah, I thought it was just aesthetic. I just thought it made people wear party hats. All right. No, don't kill the slimes. They're having too much fun. Alright, let's put the mud away. Holy, unholy arrows. Uh, let's go get party center. Party present. Is this just something that can be placed, is that all? Okay. Party center. Yeah, here it is. It looks like it's active during the party, no matter what. Um... Alright, let's sort this out. 17 range damage. That's not a whole lot. Where am I going to put it? In here? What's this? Obsidian sofa. We got some silt. Why don't I put all of these boss fight potions away? Since I'm not going to use them for a little while. What's this? Hallowed ore? What? Did I get that from the party stuff? I've never seen this before. Um, what was I doing? Emptying this. That's a little bit easier. Where should I put another cake? Probably at the ocean? So we can re-up it right before fighting Duke, or even during. That bacon though. Wait, it's a material? Oh, it's probably any food. Yeah. Seared pan? What? Hold on. 3,155 <laughs> 3, rogue damage. I don't think we're going to be making that for a little while. We've got... One, two, three, four... We've got everything except for utensil poker and auric bar, I guess. Alright, let's sell those. We have 740 flasks of party. It's a material? Rainbow party cannon. 326 magic damage. We need a confetti cannon, which I can just buy. Cosmic rainbow. I don't remember if I have one of those. Uh, I don't think I have a cosmic rainbow. Celebration mark two. Okay, we need to kill the moon lord first. Why am I still 
vomiting confetti everywhere. Is this because of the summon over my head? It actually is. Alright. Let's try doing the blood moon fishing. Um, for that I probably should have the boss fight potions, actually. Don't need this one. And... I don't think I really need the rest. Um... I'll hang a Wraith banner, definitely. Those are annoying. What am I trying to sell you, this stuff? Uh, I guess we'll keep the flasks of party. Where should I put them? And we want... Uh, chum caster? Don't want to put on fishing gear. Alright, and we're fishing with regular bait, not the uh, Duke Fisheron kind of bait. Makes it easier to see if we're hitting the target with the uh, flask of party, actually. So I'm looking for a specific enemy that we fish up during the Blood Moon. By far the strongest one, unless Calamity adds something. It's called Dread Nautilus. This is not it. Though it is certainly not weak. Oh, this is that thing that I probably don't want to fight. I've seen it show up from time to time, and I accidentally got into a fight with it once. Let's try not to shoot it. Bacon makes the best, best rogue weapon in Calamity? Well... Doesn't bacon make another food? Not to my knowledge. From the silt, I think. Oh, the, uh... So silt now gives us a little bit of hallowed ore sometimes? Should I try and fight this? How long's it gonna stay around? Maybe I should use a fishing potion. Yes, fight it? Okay. I'll try a couple more times to Dread Nautilus and then we'll fight it. That's a tuna. Too dark? What's the worst that could happen? That's a shrimp. That's a bombfish. 
Danny the Angler has left. Can we get a Blood Moon enemy fished up, please? There we go. Yeah, this shouldn't be too difficult. Oh. With our DPS right now, not to mention... I went too far away from it. No, it's still there. It's still there. It's... It's gone. Are you kidding me? Wait, no, is this it? It's still up there somewhere. Could you please... There you go. I'm afraid to get too far from it, because I have had it disappear on me before. There we go. And we got... Sanguine Staff on the first drop. Fantastic. Where is it? Here it is. Uh, probably by far the most reliable summon in vanilla. Although when you compare it to uh, some of the stuff in Calamity. I don't know, these have more consistent knockback. All right, let's try. Let's try this while well, we've still got the buffs. Oh, wait! I thought I killed it already for a second there. Why did it? Why did its health drop to zero? Was it like teasing me? Oh, this is bad. We're fine. It has a lot of health. Nothing like to Fisher on, but. It, it has some hit points, definitely. It okay. What what is happening? No, why am I? What just happened? Gravity reversed like seven times in a second. I was not pressing up. Um. Okay. Ruthless. Fantastic. Let's get another summon slot. Should I have one sanguine... What is this? 67 damage. This is 117, and I'm pretty sure the uh, sun god thing hits more often. But I'll definitely take a sanguine bat for the second slot. Um, I guess... Do I have to stay in the ocean biome for that one? Because the corner of the map was seriously a problem. Let's use regular ammo. I can't believe we got Sanguine Staff on the first Dread Nautilus. That's great. Is there anything else we can get only from the Blood Moon besides farming uh, orbs? I think that's basically it, right? You got confused by the music note? Uh Seems a bit cringe, doesn't it? Let's get ourselves... Stuff of regrowth. Oh, I just missed it. Never mind. Uh, we don't need any more bloody tears. Or top hats. Wait, it's a material? Oh yeah, I remember this. I'm not going to bother to sell it though. Sea Urchin Banner. Uh, yeah, we're not going to have to worry about that. I'll keep the Sanguine Staff next to... Whoops. Next to this.
And I was gonna destroy the pirates again. Once or twice. Oh, I should get explosive bullets. Where are they? Uh-oh. Where did I put explosive bullets? There they are. Although, I guess the particle accelerator is going to be the way to go for the most part. But when we can line them up, it is, anyway. Now, what's our boss log looking like? We need to do Aquatic Scourge, Acid Rain Post AS. Post AS. A S. I don't know what A S is. Oh, this thing's gonna be so good if we can get on one side of the uh, on one side of the flying Dutchman. We've cleared 21% of the pirate invasion this way. Good gravy. Yep, that's pretty effective. Damn. What was that? A 12 second flying Dutchman? This DPS is not that much higher, actually. Gotta try this thing against the uh, Eternia Crystal. The pirates are already done. Holy OP, right? I should make some Chlorophyte bullets. Let's see. Is there a universe where I should make chlorophyte armor? How much is it? How much have we got right now? Oh, let me stack this crap away. Pirate things can go in here. In the gaudy chest. Gold ring. Increases coin pickup range. Material combines with lucky coin to make... Uh, to make what? Oh, coin ring. And then that is still a material. I think it combines with the discount card. I walked away, what weapon is this? Uh, Adamantite Particle Accelerator. You will not find that in vanilla. But you can make it with the third tier, or one of the third tier ores, uh, 
in hard mode. I, I still don't know what it means by hitting with the opposite polarity increases damage. It's not like we can, like, shoot one beam with the other. I think it means if the second beam hits, it does more than the sum of its parts. That's my guess, anyway. Uh, this is our pirate map. Don't get rid of that. Actually, I should probably take the ring and put it, uh, make sure it's secret, make sure it's safe. Alright. Uh, why am I still carrying seafood dinner? Get out of here. Garbage. Hi, real bright. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Let's redo some of our potions. And... What was I going to do besides the pirates? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Eternia Crystal. Uh, I think they're in here. Let's go. Oh, I forgot to get... It's not too late. Hurry, 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 hurry. Where is the sentry? It's in here somewhere. There it is. Okay. Uh, Eternia... There we go. Well, that's half the way down. I mean, it's wave one, but still. Grab that green mana. When used, it fires a thick pink laser beam shortly followed by a thick blue laser beam. When an enemy is struck with the beam, it will apply a 20% damage increase to the next hit with the beam of the opposite color. Okay. Oh my god. I know this is just the warm-up phase, but still... I've never actually done, uh... I've only done Eternia Crystal pre-hard mode, and then way too late. So I don't actually know how many waves this will be. More sentries. Assuming we're ever going to need them. Thanks for confirming that about the particle accelerator. And if I'm not mistaken, it just doesn't cost ammo of any kind. Seems powerful. I'm guessing we can probably uh, beat this thing already.
just the bird things we have to watch out for, really. Oh, I think they're getting hit by birds. Yeah, those things are nasty. The uh, Sanguine Bat has a lot more range than the summon that I already had. Maybe I should go for two Sanguine Bats, actually. Especially with the knockback. Yeah, look how good the bat is at preventing these things from getting close. And the sunbeam thing, much as it has better DPS, isn't doing anything yet. That's the boss. It's half dead already. Or is it like a mini boss? Yeah, there's more. I might have something that would be higher DPS, I'm sure I do have something that would be higher DPS directly here, but killing everything behind it as we go for the tower defense minigame is kind of hard to compete with. Fantastic. How many did we get? 15 defender? Oh, 25 in total. That's not bad. That's like, uh... I think that's one whole... S not set, but one whole piece of... One of the hybrid armors. And this is the second best lot you can get. Um, but they're probably not going to compare with what we've got now, question mark? Let's see, 9 plus 18, 27, 40 armor total. Oh, this is like, this is already 40. 58. Increases max number of sentries by 1, life regen, minion and melee damage. Movement speed. Huh. 
Minion damage and melee crit. I have looked at these before, they're not that exciting, unfortunately. We get minion damage plus melee, magic, ranged, or a different kind of melee build. Um, but we don't get any minion slots. It's just max sentries. How many have I got stashed away? We just more than doubled them. If I do that twice more, we could try out one of these sets. But I don't think it's going to be that good. What's this? Squire's shield. Max number of sentries by one. Minion damage by 10%. I think there's one of those for each of the classes. From... What is it called? Dungeon Defenders? So if you really wanted to, you could have, like, what, three more, plus three max sentries, plus 30% minion damage. Unfortunately, it's not great for, like, AFK farming or anything, because the sentries disappear after a while. Alright, let's put this stuff away for now. Phantom Phoenix. When did I get that? The power of undying flames. Uh, let's grab ourselves... Endless Quiver. Oh my lord. Interesting. I think I might have got one of these, no? I don't think it really competes with what we've got right now. Let's put the truffle worms away for the moment. And I'll put the cursed bullets away until we're trying a boss fight again. I forgot I was going to make the chlorophyte bullets as well. I was about to see if I should think about making a chlorophyte set. How much will we need? Uh, 36 plus 18... 54... And we've got... 48... Uh, I might... Give it a go... When our chlorophyte farms have done their job a little bit. I'd be particularly interested to see if Calamity changes the chlorophyte set at all. Uh, but what else can we do? Bullets. 17 range damage versus what? Cursed bullets were... 30. That is a significant downgrade in damage per shot. I'm pretty sure it's not that drastic in vanilla. But if we... Uh, if we switch to it at the last phase of Duke Fisheron, that might help. Because some of the bullets that were, like, flying past him as he teleports in will completely turn around to chase him. I heard an enemy just pick up some money. I'm pretty sure. Whatever. Um, is there anything else we want to make with Chlorophyte, though? I don't suppose we eventually get to just buy Chlorophyte ammo. That'd be nice.
Owl's Heart. That's not the Howl I'm thinking of, surely. No. <laughs> what is this? Oh, it is too! It's... Oh my god. Adorable. Okay. Let's put this stuff away. And this goes... Probably in summons. Summon accessories. Perfectly balanced. Yes. Wait. What did I just put in here? Or did I misclick or something? Uh, let's put the Endless Quiver away. I could bully the pirates. What, what boss could I fight right now that is appropriate at this point? Spawn info. Use a seafood in the Sulfuric Sea, or wait for it to spawn in the Sulfuric Sea. Shark, five shark fins. I don't want to spend that. Sulfurous sand. Hmm. All right, we can visit the Sulfurous Sea and hope we don't die. I was going to explore the jungle a bit more. Fun boss? Uh-oh. Yay. Now I'm scared. Do I still have this thing? Yes, I do. Boss is very farmable with a certain gun, like this one. Oh yeah, I wanted to check if anyone sells gel. I don't think so. Oh, and I should have been using ammo reservation potions as well. That's not gel. I should probably take off the max DPS, but with two invulnerabilities gear. For something a bit more unfamiliar. Let's check our fishing quest. Oh, that's a lot of stuff to pick up. Why is this always left open? I should move this pump while I'm at it. Oh, we got a diving helmet. Is that still relevant? Um, I'm pretty sure I have a flipper somewhere. Don't pick up the white torch. Where where be the flippers? Here they are. Diving gear. Uh, which makes... Jellyfish diving gear. Oh yeah, that's right. This might be relevant in... Uh, not the sunken sea. The, uh, the abyss? I know I have a jellyfish necklace somewhere. Here it is. And then, arctic diving gear, we need a... we need some ice skates. I think we can make those if we have to. Yeah, 
Yeah, I think we're fresh out of ice skates. Oh, no, we're not. Ice skates. I want to see. Yeah, we can make ice skates if it comes to that. Uh, Arctic diving gear. And then we can combine it with abyssal diving gear. Okay, never mind. How do we get abyssal diving gear? Oh, wait, we need... Hold on, what? No, this is made with the arctic diving gear. Depth charm. Reduces the damage caused by pressure of the abyss while out of breath. Removes the bleed effect. Do I have this yet? Depth cells and luminil. I remember I got a thing or two. I've got Abyssal Amulet. Does this eventually make... No. This is offensive, actually. Immunity to the Crush Depth Debuff? Uh, I don't think I have this material or a way to make it. Depth charm. Can I not make depth charm? Where do I get it? Depth charm. Uh, left click? No. Right click? Wait, what? Double left mouse button, view recipes, double right mouse button, see dropping NPCs. Doesn't drop from NPCs. It just brings us back here if I double left click on it. Why is it like this? Is a mechanical gun basically a worm destroyer? We've got a worm destroyer. Uh. Oh, that's a hammer. Whoops. D Auto aim, stupid thing. This becomes a sword as well. Let's put this in... Oh, I've already got, like, a ton of these. Let's sell it. Uh, alright, I guess we'll put the... It does provide light and reduces breath loss in the abyss. Maybe I'll keep that handy. Oh, lovely. Maybe I'll put it in the piggy bank instead. And we've got a million of these. What? No. Anacotic coating. No, I already... Already have those. What's this? Urchin stinger. Alright, I guess we're as ready as we can be to go visit the acid area. Um, I might grab some more potions. Like what? Thorns. We can just buy summoning potions. And now that we've got uh, sanguine stuff... It's worth... Give me some more. Flipper potion, definitely. 
heals potion. We might want to go below the surface. All right, let's head over there. Up, up and away. Oh yeah, I'm still wearing the DPS gear. <laughs> Whoops. What's the worst that could happen? So, am I to just hang around here until the boss potentially shows up? Or do I need to go down there? I know I don't need to go this deep. Well, I'm, I think. Oh, we could just... That was an easily obtained diving helmet. Yeah, it seems we can just delete these things pretty easily. I should head back to the jungle, get more life fruit. See what else the hard mode calamity jungle has to offer us. If the sea is rumbling, I think you get notified. Oh, okay. So it's only when we get the message that... I forget what it says, it's like... There's a storm here or something? I've got to activate this. Let's go to the jungle instead. And while we're at it... Let's put on... Armor that I prefer for spelunking. And maybe not menacing everything. Uh, I should put the Shield of Cthulhu in here as well. Alright, we got 80 defense. Seems good. I never did fish up a toxic heart, but this is probably better. Then again, maybe Calamity buffs the toxic heart. Should have put that diving helmet away. Just looking for life fruit, as far as I know. Uh, we can just buy explosive bullets. I don't mind using those. I'll definitely pick up more chlorophyte when I happen to see it. It's not strictly what this trip is about, but we may as well. What did we just find? Oh, I, I, I've got a million of these. Wait. Explosive bullets hurt us. That doesn't happen in vanilla. They only deal one damage, but still. Um, let's take down here. Why not? And since we're digging, we'll grab a mining potion. Looks like I've dug through here before, actually. There's a life fruit. Where's a life fruit? I do not see... Oh, there it is. Give me this. Fantastic. 
fantastic. The auto aim thing is very aggressive, cutting down those trees. I don't know, maybe I should have a sword. I'm just used to the shape of... Oh, that was our portal. Whoops. I was gonna say, what the... I've never seen one of those just randomly. Oh, right. Put those in the void bag. Open this up. Feral claws is nice. Although, I think we can craft it now. I definitely want that chest over there as well. something in here I wanted? Not that I can see. Oh, I can teleport. I forgot. Alright. Still can't teleport. There we go. Take the statue... What's down here? As is light, should have done that before. Another feral claws. I do wish there was a quicker way to shove all of this into the void bag. Oh, it's full. That's suboptimal. a decent bunch of chlorified over there. Could, could you let me through? Thank you. There we go. Light fruit. What are we down to? Four more after this. Or have I used all the light fruit I've picked up? Uh, no, we just need three more actually. Nice that this flamethrower works underwater. Leave that chlorophyte there. Was that really where I last used my void bag? We could delete a queen bee, not much point. chest, my old friend. Oh, that was... that was of subnormal intelligence. Um, let's see what we're dropping here. particularly care for these. Uh, what else? That'll probably do for now. Did I get it? I think I got it. 
away we go. Stack all the things. I should probably put the summoning potions and stuff in the piggy bank. Don't need gills and flipper in most places. Or thorns. Um, or grav, or extra damage. Do I not have this stacked away? Alright. Don't need any more of this. Not worried about jungle bats, to be honest. Yet another chest. Even more chests. I can't reach down here, can I? Sell all this. Uh, I found the needlers before. They're cool, but they don't quite compete right now. We can just buy nature's gift whenever we want. Uh, this stuff will get stacked away. Apparently I actually don't have peril claws in here. And... Diving helmet only turns into one thing, but we've only got one flipper left. So I'll just leave this here for now. Glorified ore, imp statue. Can we actually farm the drops from the imps? Oh, we don't need to. I've already got the terrace bark boots. Derp. Heading out for a bit. Good luck with Fishron. Thank you. Thanks for hanging out, uh, Jimbo. All right, back to the jungle, I think. I might stop using the exploding bullets for spelunking since um, since they actually hurt us. We got party bullets. Those have the same knockback, I think. Well, they have decent knockback anyway. Where did I put them? Fantastic. Back we go. We've got so many of these giant tortoise shells, I should just sell them. Now I'm not used to the bullets not being explosive. fast. Still. Flower statue? Gimme. Tree statue, rather. Wait, what is that? Emerald crawler. Not too interested in that. What am I still looking for in the jungle? Other than three life fruit. Make it two life fruit. Nothing as far as I can think of. with the uh, extra summon, except for when we know things are going to get 
tough. But the aggressive knockback is very nice. And it's just money. I have to remind myself that. We can just buy summoning potions. Do those tortoises actually have a 100% drop rate for the shells? Seems like they do. There's a lot on the screen, but I do not see any life fruit. There's some. Gimme, gimme. So we got... Wait, I think I've got a couple in here. Oh, this is it. We've reached max health for now. Fantastic. Alright, is there any more reason for me to be in the jungle? There's another life fruit. Let me just confirm that it's not like... I think it probably is a material in uh, Calamity. Turtles are so much less dangerous in this, uh, with this mod. There's just so many ways to block them. And without even trying. Alright, so we got... It is a material. It goes into four Calamity mod things. Uh, Blood Orange. Permanently increases max life by 25. Can only be used if the max amount of life fruit has been consumed. So that's us. We need Orange Blood Root, which makes orange dye. I'm glad I haven't been using up all the dye things that I've found. And then mech boss souls and blood orbs. We can do all this. But where do I find orange blood root in particular? Oh, these all do the same thing? Uh, so this last one... I don't know where to find life alloy, living shard... I don't know where to find Ule Bloom Bar, or Divine Geode, or Unholy Essence. I have seen at least one Sky Blue Flower. I don't know what this is. Alright, so this is the only recipe that we could do at this point. We can't exactly farm Orange Bloodroot. It's just something you see every once in a while. As is light. Uh, all of the lights, please. Thank you. Let me through. Let's... Do I have my dodge cooldown? I do not. Let's not... Be careless here. So we, we are incentivized to get life fruits still. I don't particularly want to keep looking for them right now, but I did just see one. vulnerability with this armor set. That's something to consider. 
I mean, we have one, we just don't have two now. Piglet, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright, should we try Duke again? Or maybe a different boss. Uh, so apparently we either have to just hang around at the Sulfuric Sea at the right time. Do I have five shark fins? I think I've got Sulfurous Sand, maybe. We've got nine shark fins. Let's see, Hard Mode Calamity, Sulfurous Sandstone, Sulfurous Sand, we do have it. Seafood, I need 20 of this, 10 starfish, and an anvil. Actually, it's right here. So, f 10 starfish, 5 shark fins. I don't think I've got starfish lying around, but we can go get those very easily. Is that goodies? It is. Starfish? Where are they? Here's one. Maybe I should just pick up everything. It'll, like, respawn. Don't do this in real life. Leave Coral alone. I still only have one starfish. Two starfish? E starfish? Five starfish? How many did we need? Ten. Uh, here's a couple more. Every time I try crossing large deep waters, I drown or get slain. Rip. Is this vanilla terraria? Oh, and we got some, uh, some gravestones. I don't know why they flicker, so. Alright, this will be way more than enough starfish. Starfish. And then... Seafood. Fantastic. Let's sell the rest of this. I still haven't finished making these NPC homes properly. Don't sell the gold chest, I think those are irreplaceable. Um, put these away somewhere. Guess gear up for a boss fight. Let's go. Uh, can I shift click this? Yeah, I can. Hallowed armor. Actually, how much chlorophyte did we get? Oh, that should be enough. Chlorophyte. Bar. Fantastic. Alright, do we want to go ranged? I haven't seen any spells that I've fallen in love with lately, and I really like the Particle Accelerator and the Meow Thrower. So we'll stick with Ranger for now. Plate Mail and Greaves. Alright, what's our defense going to be? 79 is not that great, I think. It's actually higher, but we don't get one of those invincibility cooldowns. 
Summons a powerful leaf crystal to shoot pulses of life every five seconds. Pulses of life? I thought it was a turret. Did they change it? The pulses do a base damage of 300 to enemies. Also provide 10 health boost to you and all players on your team. Players healed by pulses cannot be healed by another pulse for 4.5 seconds. With the health boost and the damage scale based on your strongest class? What does it mean by strongest class? Enemies, we need enemies. Uh, okay, that wasn't what I was expecting. Wow. It just AoEs the whole area? Um, that's gonna be good in certain situations. Maybe not in a boss fight. I mean, the fact that it heals us is not bad either. It's only 10 health. Or 15 health? Am I getting something that's boosting heals that I get? 16 health. Why is that? Uh, yeah, that seems kind of strong-ish, actually. Alright. It hits things through walls. Alright. This, this seems decent. Let's go to the Abyss with this. The hallowed armor down for the moment. And I think I'll make some chlorified bullets now. Oh, we need some. What are they called? Musket balls? Here we go. 13, 20 bullets. That's not that much, but. We'll see when we need them. Whoops. What's this? Stardust. And I don't think we need another Wolfram battery. Alright, we got basic buffs. Uh... Let's go thorns, grav, we're running out of gravity potions, I can't remember if we can buy those somewhere, wizard, yes, fantastic, that's a lot of grav. Oh, and we can just buy Potion of Return now. That's beautiful. Alright. More summoning. Alright, so we got... Defense, regen, max health, defense. Damage, damage. I need to buy more of these. Rage and Wrath. Inferno, just in case. Oh, here we go. Uh, Grav. Don't think Titan is going to help. Calming Potion actually sounds like a good idea in that biome. Heart Reach, because you never know if you're up against a boss that will drop hearts. Uh, not too worried about Featherfall, to be honest. Flipper Potion, definitely. Gills Potions. 
a case for going underwater. Alright, that seems good for now. And we haven't run out of Yarim stimulants just yet. Let's re up our. Where's my crimson bat? Here we go, sanguine bat. Let's redo this one. And. Oh, this goes in here. Summoning, sanguine, sanguine. And away we go. AoE in the Abyss, what a madman? What do you mean? I don't know that I'm going into the Abyss just yet. We're going to the surface of the Abyss, right? Is that where we fight this thing? Aquatic Scourge. Here it comes. It's a worm boss, so we use the flamey. That seems pretty effective. Yeah, that's super effective. Don't want to touch those, whatever they are. Foaming spikes? Alright, I might want to shift position a bit more so we don't end up with an arena full of stuff that we have to avoid. Give me this. Fantastic. How long does this stay here? Oh. What? Wait, what? A toxic downpour falls over, the sulfix, sulfuric skies begin to clear. We got like a quarter second of music there. Let's do that again. It's, it's lurking underneath me. Come on. Come on. Oh, I guess I had to start the fight. Maybe. It's already half dead. Yeah, I think we fought this bear, uh, this boss a little later than we were supposed to. Oh, we just had a really good weapon for it. Once more with feeling. Let's pull it over here away from those nasties. Although, I'll have to watch out for this bit of terrain here. Seems good. Ow. Dunsky? There we go. Give me the loot. No, oh, come back. There we go. Alright, three for three. Not really under threat. I think it's because the time ticked over to 7.30. Indeed. 
weird that the Aquatic Scourge is neutral until attacked. Yeah, I don't know if that would have lasted, but it's different. Alright, Aquatic Scourge goes... where? Right after the Twins? Fantastic. Um, stack that away. Open these. See what we've got. Oh, that's a lot that I need to downpour. 65 magic damage. A spray of water that drips extra trails of water. Oh, so it's basically upgraded Aqua Scepter. But it also drops, drips as it goes. Seas Searing. String of bubbles summoning a shower of bubbles on hit. Uh, okay. Even considering we got a damaged one, I think we've surpassed this. Most likely. Oh! Interesting. Wait, what's our DPS right now? Let me sort out my inventory a little bit here. Actually... Alright, what's this? Most ocean enemies become friendly... Wait, I already have something like this. Ocean... Crest? Most ocean enemies become friendly provides water breathing. It's not a material, but this is the same thing but better. Being underwater slowly boosts your defense over time, but also slows movement speed. Okay, it's not strictly better. The defense boost and movement speed reduction slowly vanish outside of the water. Maximum defense is 50. Maximum movement speed reduction is only 10%. That's not that bad. Small amount of light in the abyss reduces breath loss in the abyss. Alright, that is going to be our new ocean crest, basically. And now we have a slot for our DPS meter. Um, let's put this here. That's not that bad. Especially considering we're not a mage right now. Alright, downpour. Get in the mage collection. Sea Searing. Do we have one that's not damaged? Don't think we do. We got a couple more downpours. At least. Submarine Shocker. Oh my goodness. I don't think I'm using that no matter what the... D okay, that's pretty high DPS. Interesting. Submarine Shocker. Yet in the collection. Do I have no other sea searing? Alright, let's just bear in mind that this is negative 15%. Okay. That's... That, that's a lot of damages under ideal circumstances. It's a rare drop, that's why you only have one. Yeah. Let's see what it looks like if we hit one target dummy. And you know what? Uh, just for the hell of it, nothing else. Oh, it has a secondary fire as well. Right click to fire a slower, larger water blast that summons a water spell. Oh my goodness. Alright, let's re-roll this thing. 
Gashman, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Single target DPS. It's almost a mega shark. And it doesn't cost ammo. It might be different against a moving target, but still. An owl. Fantastic. And the secondary fire? Let's see. Uh, I missed. The secondary fire seems really weak if we're shooting it at a single target dummy. Um, I think it's more the utility of it, like this would block an enemy or something. Alright, um, maybe... It doesn't exactly replace the Meow Thrower. How about... This is slot 1, this is slot 5, and this is slot 8. Since I haven't actually been using the Rod of Discord. Maybe I should try to use the Rod of Discord against Duke Fisheron, but then the cooldown of 15 seconds... I can only dodge... I can only use it to get out of trouble from one of his um, attack loops in the final phase, like once every three to five teleports at best. So I don't know if it's even worth... Oh, we did have another C searing. It's fine. At least you didn't murder them? I I would never. <laughs> Until I'm part of the expected. Oh no. Full band name. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh did I not have a better barn barren nautical? I think it's in here somewhere. Demonic barren nautical. Oh, I need arrows. That, if I'm going to have another type of weapon, the fact that I have to have a slot for arrows really lowers the chance I'll use this. Seems pretty straightforward. Wooden arrows into strings of three electric bolt arrows that explode. Well, the explosion is barely, barely enough to hit two targets. Maybe if they're right on top of each other. Yeah, this one doesn't seem to... Uh, this one doesn't seem on the same scale of power. Alright, let's just throw that in the collection. I haven't really been using this at all. It's only when I'm, like, traveling up here, and it's only for a few seconds. So maybe this could go here. Rod of Discord can go here. Um, bows can go in here. I sh really should reorganize this stuff. Bow... Deep Sea Staff. Summon damage. Summons an aquatic star to fight for you. And it can eventually be up upgraded. Uh, can we get ourselves a... proper target dummy for this? How do I... there we go. Doesn't seem bad. Uh, it seems like it would probably... multi-hit things? Yeah. OK, 
Okay then. I don't think I'm going to switch to using that unless I'm playing Summoner though. At the time. We'll put this in the Summoner chest. How close is close range or point blank? Uh, well, let's look at our DPS hit. Nope, 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 nope. Let's look at our DPS here. Peaking at about 900. Not peaking at 1100 occasionally. And if I go back here, every bullet is... Every bullet is still hitting. Uh, we're down to like... Probably 750 or so for the peak. That is significant. Okay. Target dummy, get back here. Life fruit. Where should life fruit go? Hard mode? Hard mode vanilla things? I mean, normally we wouldn't hoard these in vanilla, but whatever. Loot all quick stack. What's this? Rogue damage. Scourge of the Seas. <laughs> Seems reasonable. Snaps apart into a venomous cloud. Amazing. Aquatic Scourge Mask can go in here. Not, not in here, actually. Uh, I don't need more than one aquatic emblem. I don't need more turtle shells, actually. Actually, why don't I convert them to these? They stack. Actually, can I convert them back? No, I cannot. Alright, so we're not just gonna convert them all to turtle shells and then bring them back when it's convenient for us. But still, I don't need more than a couple of these in their original form. I think. Is it only four that I've got lying around in here? Alright, seems good. Um, please take this off my hands. Since my inventory is already full of boss fight potions, I'd like to fight another boss. What is this? Bleached Angling Kit has a chance to contain various fishing gear. Right click to open. Uh, Alright, why don't we drink a luck potion in case that is a factor. We'll also put the old die on. What did we get? I think we didn't have angler pants before, so that's nice. Um, let's add that to the statue over here, since we've got extra pairs. I still need to fix this uh, water issue. Let's grab some wire. Let's put this stuff away first. Why am I not... Oh, I have no double jump. No wings either, that would probably help. Angler pants go in here. Can we put these in the safe, actually? 
Where did I just... There we go. And there should be one more coin type. Here we go, platinum coins. Oh no, don't quick stack them into the... the piggy bank. Does this... what does this upgrade into? Supreme Bait Tackle Box. Uh... I should probably hurry up and finish getting certain things that are hidden behind the fishing quests. What in Underground Tundra? That would be way down here. I might skip that one for today. Alright, we've got room. That can stay there, I guess. We probably... No. Alright, we've got one whole spare set. Let's put it over here. Well, this is really our second spare set of angler gear. So, I can sell these two hats, I guess. All quick stack. What's this? Aquatic Scourge Trophy. Sure. The drop rates on those trophies can be a bit silly. Like, it can take time. If you actually wanted to farm them, it could take time, even if you can kill the boss in like 10 seconds or less. Don't need jungle torches. Explosives can go in here. And we're done. Fantastic. Who's next? Acid rain post AS. Use a caustic tear or wait for the invasion to occur. After Aquatic Scourge is defeated. That's the one we just killed, right? Yes. Five Sulfuric Scale, and it's crafted by hand. We have Sulfuric Scale. I need to stop having weapon number one equipped when I'm going to right-click these. Sulfuric Scale. Sulfur Skin Potion. Reduces the effects of the Sulfuric Waters. Uh, that can go in here, I guess. Essence of all the things. I'm not seeing any sulfuric what's it? Sulfuric scale. They they're dropped by all that crap from over there. Wait for it to in, to occur naturally after the scourge, uh, aquatic scourge is defeated. We'll probably just do that. A Zavoxifol. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, what else? Brimstone Elemental. This looks very similar to that thing at the ocean that deleted us. Soul of Night, Essence of Chaos, Unholy Core. I don't know if I've seen either of these two. Use in the Brimstone Crag. Is the Brimstone Crag... Uh... This stuff? Doing good, thanks you. Yeah, not too bad. Uh, let's see. I don't think I have any of those. We've got Essence of Chaos. I think we get that at the Brimstone place. 
I don't think we've got any of the other things. We need three more of these. Soul of Night, we know where to get. Don't know where to get Unholy Core. Maybe it's at the same place. So maybe we'll go pay that area a visit. Eclipse. That should happen naturally. At some point. 1 in 20 chance to occur each day upon dawn. As soon as any mech boss has been defeated. I'm surprised it hasn't happened yet. The Calamitous Clone. Eye of Desolation. We need three more of these. Okay. So we've got two reasons to go down there now. Where is Duke Fisher on on this list? Old Duke? Oh. Uh, so there's a there's a worse Duke Fisher on later on. That's comforting. But where is Duke on this list? Fishron. I don't see Duke Fishron. Is it not going to list him? It's not down here. Hmm. Well, let's just go pay a visit to that one place. Don't think we'll be needing these. Let's redo our buffs. Let's just go for three of these, why not? Simple. Down we go. That's not what I meant to do. And we're off. Oh, the the juggle from these things against that imp. Do they have more knockback than normal in this mod? Maybe not. Maybe I don't need this much damage, and I could possibly wear a double jump. Might feel better with the movement. Oh, that's surprisingly powerful. Wow. Where are we going? Almost there, kind of. What are we using? Dual hook? Dual hook. Last time I was here, this place was a bit dangerous. But it might be a bit easier now. I haven't farmed uh, the strong mimics yet. I've only seen one natural one, and it was in a really bad spot. So, do I just need to wait? Can I dig this yet? I can. Charred ore. Alright, I'll take it. Could you be persuaded to stop? Stop. 
Is this what all of this is? No, this is different. Brimstone slag. Down we go. I want to see how strong this is. Seems good, actually. Seems very good, actually. Alright, let's get more of this stuff while we're here. I... Okay, so Essence of Chaos, we've already got six. It is a drop from these guys. But what was the other thing we needed? The summons are pretty overpowered. Overpowered right now. What's this? Brimstone Slay? Aziz Light? I've already got the light. I've got the buff active already. Okay, wow. Chlorophyte armor is... um. Exceeding expectations, to say the least. Give me, give me your house. All of it. Every last brick. Oh, it's not just that, uh... These items are strong. The damage buffs we've got are strong as well. Alright, so what was that other thing? We needed... Uh... Is it this thing? Unholy Core. Where do we get Unholy Core? I'm scared. Unholy core. Ow, 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 ow. Uh, does green mean we can craft it? Oh god, I shouldn't be doing this here. Unholy core, charred ore and hellstone. There we go. Uh, we've been picking up charred ore. It's this black stuff. Fantastic. Let's get ourselves a mining potion. And some food. Fantastic. I don't know how much hellstone we've got back at home, but I don't want to be short on it. of this stuff that we're farming or mining. How much do we need, I wonder? Well, we're going to take a lot of it regardless. Is there any more? What if I do Potion of Omniscience? That didn't help at all. <laughs> Actually, it's making these sparkle. Devil's Dandruff. Nice name. Thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Chlorophyte armor is just too good for spelunking. 
Look at that. Alright, uh, maybe we've got enough now. Ooh, what's that? Cultist Assassin. Well, he's dead now. That feel when you train at being an assassin for 20 years and then just get one shot by a green AoE that comes through the wall. I'm trying to ignore these guys so I can dig. I'm hardly getting a chance to test this new weapon out. It's a good problem to have. It is quite strong. Maybe I should try this against Duke Fishron. This hellstone here, and we'll see if we can craft everything that we want from this stuff. Hellstone. Not Hellstone Brick, either. Unholy Core. How many do we need? Ooh, that's hard to say. How about we show it to the guide? That's a bit less cluttered. That's a lot. Gold or Platinum Crown, plus five of these, plus ten of those makes immunity to brimstone flames and searing lava. I'm not too worried about that. But it's also a material which turns into void of extinction. Drops brimstone fireballs from the sky occasionally. 10% increase to damage. Melee attacks inflict hellfire. Brimstone fire rains down after getting hit. Reduces damage from touching lava and immunity and stuff. That's actually not that exciting, to be honest. Although it does give us 10% damage. Uh, what else? Ruin Medallion. Stealth Strikes only expend 50% of your max stealth. Rogue Damage, Rogue Crit. And of course it's a material. The Amalgam. That's a lot of different stuff, which we don't have. Oh, and the Amalgamated Brain is a prereq for it. 15% increased damage. Okay, everything this does, plus 5% damage, plus extends the duration of potion buffs by 100%. And potion buffs remain active even after you die. Damn. Okay, how do I get the rest of this stuff? Mollusk husk. We've got sulfuric scale. I don't know where to get plague cell canister. Cosmolite bar looks advanced. Ascendant Spirit Essence looks advanced. We can make armor. We need Ashes of Calamity. Don't know where to get those. Oh, Calamitous. Wasn't the boss log recommending we kill Calamitous relatively soon? Calamitous Clone. 
Uh, that would be a no. I think... Is Calamitous Clone the weak version of this, or... Loot and Collection. Ashes of Calamity. No, this is it. Okay. Ashes of Calamity. Fifth... Uh, boots give us 15 defense. That's an upgrade from here. 15, 15, and... Helmets probably depend, unless there's only one class for this. Magic damage and crit strike. Uh, yeah, it's a mage set. I don't see any other helmets. Okay. 5% increased. Well, what's the set bonus? We need to know that. Bloodstone. Oh, that just summons a mount. Special crafting. Chandler, lamp, basin, candle under candle, and so on. Charred idol. Use at your own risk. Summons the brimstone elemental. Oh, this is what we were trying to make. So we need two unholy cores. Uh, let's make sure we make one of those. Whoops. But can we stop with the secondary attacks? There we go. Uh, why don't we make a handful of these? And look again. Uh, we needed Essence of Chaos or something? Here it is. And then what? And then we need five souls of night. Hey, Sifa Cat. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Welcome, Raiders. Andy Gaming. Good to see you again. Uh, Sifa Cat. There we go. How's your stream today? What are we making right now? Uh, where is it? Charred Idol. Whiskers, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. So we have to use this down where we got this stuff, I think. I should have used a potion of return. We can just buy those now. Alright, let's hold on to this. Uh, what else, if anything, are we crafting with this stuff while we've while we're here? We got furniture. We got the charred idol done. Rimrose stuff. Spies fires a spread of Rimrose beams. It just costs six of these cores. Can we make it here? Oh my lord. That's kind of cool. Does it pierce? Oh, it pierces. What's our DPS right now? while well, we're not wearing mage gear. Two thousand? Yeah, seems decent. I don't know, it's only 22 magic damage at first. But we get all this burning. I think we've probably already outgrown this, to be honest. Um, let's put the furniture away. Banner can go here. It's full. Banner can go here. Demon torch, get out of here. Chard ore. Uh, what else? We got burning sea. Spell Tome plus five of these. 
109 magic damage. Bouncing brimstone fireball that splits into homing fireballs. Upon collision with water? Interesting. That's oddly specific. I'm watching the Artemis launch coverage. That's one sexy rocket sitting on the launch pad. Nice. I think we just buy spell tomes from Mr. Wizard. And then do we need one of these or an anvil or something? Uh, Brimstone Sword, sure, why not? It doesn't benefit much from attack speed. Kind of high damage, summons Brimstone Geysers on hit. Right click to throw like a javelin. Lol. Very strong knockback. 33 benefits present benefit from melee speed bonuses. Uh, what was I going to make? With the spell tome? It was with the spell tome, right? Burning Sea. Yeah, there it is. Is it here? No? What does Burning Sea require? Crafting. It just has a blank... Oh, bookcase. Here it is. And if it hits water, it spits out homing fireballs. Yeah, that's that's way too specific. I don't think we'll be using that. Probably. Does it pierce or anything? Uh, it's not that good. Let's just put that in the collection. And I think we've crafted most things we can with this right now. Uh, Brimstone Fury is a bow. We're way past 36 range damage. I'm not going to bother to make these two. Brimlash. Requires Essence of... I don't have Ashes of Calamity yet. That's from that boss we're about to kill. Anarchy Blade. Broken Hero Sword. We haven't had this Solar Eclipse yet. Alright, let's put this stuff away for now. Hard mode calamity chest. I haven't really been using the honey like I usually do. That's not silt, that's ash. Let's go do this little boss that's probably going to be easy at this point. Down we go. I really should have used a uh, potion of return earlier. And I should probably be wearing a hallowed set for the boss fight, but what are you going to do? Oh, that does seem more powerful. Uh, wow. Okay. it It's strong against segmented enemies. I should have realized it would be. I mean, I did note that it was good, like, AoE, but damn. The only difficulty compared to the mini shark, uh, mega shark is... We don't get this constant spray of pretty accurate bullets. Let's just dig through here. We've killed the wall of flesh. There's no 
cheating by cutting through the demon village anymore. I guess I might try this on... I could have the Chlorophyte bullets on the Mega Shark and use this for straight damage. We'll do two more bosses and then we'll try Duke again. Did I bring the summon thing? I did. Fantastic. Kinda hard to see. Oop, that looks nasty. We've got a fair... okay, okay. I was gonna say we've got a fair amount of space here, but maybe not. Maybe I should have brought more boss fight potions. It's got a lot of health. I think I just have to run and pick a good spot to swap directions. And we probably don't want to leave this biome while we're fighting him. Where is he? So far so easy, but we haven't seen all of his phases probably. Wasn't too bad. Does this thing deal extra damage at point blank like most ranged weapons? Uh, it doesn't. That might actually... That might actually put it well past the Mega Shark for fighting Duke Fisher on. Should we go again? Yeah, getting full damage at any range kind of counts for a lot. And we can switch to the Mega Shark uh, with the chlorophyte bullets at the end. Ow. I think I would be a bit better off with a double jump than the extra bit of damage that I've got equipped right now in this fight. And again, I'd probably just use it up not when I really want to. Did I leave the biome? Is this bad? Is this very bad? 
Are we okay? Is he gonna stop being enraged? I think we're fine. Shouldn't have gone that way though. Alright, you, you can die now. It's fine. Okay. Okay, there there we go. You skipped a cool mechanic by running? Uh is it is the mechanic dying? I'm just fine with defeating the Eater of Worlds since that that's all I was good at, like a Minecraft dirt house meme. Okay. Alright, uh, once more with feeling, and we'll probably get all or almost all of his drops. And then we'll move on to the next one. I don't know if we're gonna get... oops. Actually, I kind of want to try and fight him enraged. He was a lot more consistent chasing me this way. And I could DPS him more consistently, but on the other hand... If I don't know the terrain, if I run into a bad spot, it's going to be a problem. Like this, actually. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Can I get through? I'm very low. I should go back. I'm still dying. Okay, we're fine. Alright, let's see what the goodie bags have for us. We got Gehenna. Drops brimstone fireballs from the sky occasionally. I think that's a prereq for this thing we saw earlier. Uh, one of which is amalgamated brain. Or no. Molten skull rose, Gehenna, Abaddon. Void of collapse. That's a lot of stuff. Let's just put this away. And the most powerful of elementals, bent on exacting revenge upon the bloody inferno that demolished her home. Finally put to rest, she will suffer no longer from the grief caused by the deaths of her people. Sure. Keen Brimlance. Creates brimstone explosions on enemy hits. Oh my goodness! Okay, that might be kind of powerful. How much deeps are we doing right now? Uh, over 7,000, actually. It's, it's over 9,000, sometimes. It's literally over 9,000 at this angle. And I'm not playing with melee gear equipped right now. But that's with, like, the maximum number of target dummies. Let's put the... Keen Brimlance in its place. Maybe here. Whoops. Strong Seething Discharge. Oh, that's kind of like what I was being attacked with. It's a material. It helps make eternity. We're not going to be making that for a while. Alright. It doesn't seem that great. Let's put it away for now. Uh, brimstone elemental relic. Where does this go? Brimstone elemental. Right after the destroyer? Where's the destroyer? Here it is. And... What's in our void bag right now? I already looked at Seething Discharge. Rose Stone. One of the ancient relics. Summons a brimstone, brimstone elemental to fight for you. Amazing. 
Intense Dormant Brimseeker. Summons a Brimseeker to keep you company. Well, isn't that nice? Firing another Brimseeker when all minion slots are filled summons a Brimstone Aura? I don't... Oh. Okay. The aura empowers your Brimseeker minions and produces damaging fireballs. Only one aura can persist at a time. Very interesting. Very different. Let's put that away for now. Is that your trophy room to the left? Yes. Uh, if I got it right, looking at the wiki, this is how many relics we're going to have in the end. And I'm putting them down in the order that they appear in the boss log. You need to fill everyone. Yes, indeed. Um, I already have this somewhere. Or did I not put it away? Oh, it was up here, wasn't it? Yep. Rose stone. Oh, we already did this. Let's put that in the accessory slot for summoners. The chest, that is. And everything else is done. Did I get all the loot from that uh, boss? We didn't get Hellborn. Looks like a gun. We didn't get a Baden, but I'm not that interested. I don't think this, um... I don't know, I could be wrong. I don't know if this boss will necessarily give us stuff that's that good. Uh, let me dismiss this thing. Where is it? Grimseeker, get out of here. What was the next boss I was going to do? The Calamitous Clone. This one sounds like fun. We need 7 Essence of Chaos and 10 Hellstone Bars. Essence of Chaos. Eye of Desolation. Used during the night time. Okay. Let's stack this stuff away. Sell the rest. How much time do we have? It's 8.30 a.m. In that case, I guess I will go for at least one more boss fight with that one that we were just fighting. Oh, can we do a fishing quest? I should really be doing these more often. Underground and caverns, was it? Jewel fish. Yes. Underground and caverns. Will it count if it's underground hollow? I'm not sure, and... Glowing mushroom biome does count. Oh, the traveling merchant is here. Where is he? I keep missing him. He's up there. Um, alright then. I don't have my usual flight weapon. Wait, what are you trying to sell me? We got Flipper, Water Walking, Gills, Polyp Launcher. I don't see anything terribly exciting. Oh, he's selling truffle worms. Nice, we don't have to farm for these anymore, although it will cost us 10 gold. Uh, not counting our potions, it'll cost us 10 gold for every attempt against Duke Fish Run. Still, that's good. 
Can I get up there without using... I don't think so. Alright, let's go get it, I guess. Give me this. Very happy to see that they're selling boss summoning items like that. What was the other one? I don't suppose someone is selling guide voodoo dolls. We don't really need that though. I don't see anything new from the pirate. Uh, this is the worst traveling merchant I've ever seen. Cool. Let's put this away. And until we can fight this boss, until nighttime, let's go back and fight without leaving this biome this time. Let's go back and fight that boss. And I'll respect my enemy a bit more this time. Featherfall would be good. Don't need grav potions. Um, summoning potions should all be in here now. So we got damages. I don't think Inferno does anything. That's pretty much it, right? Alright. Re up all of our buffs. And away we go. Get back into this biome. Realize that I. No, I did not forget the boss summon. Okay, we're fine. And buff. Oh, that's so much easier. To control where we are in the air. It's not double jump, but it's a lot smoother. Let's not leave this biome. Okay, okay. Look, can, could you let me pass, please? Thank you. Gotta be a little bit more careful on the spacing this time. Also, I should have him chase me a bit more slowly if I can help it. Okay, alright, alright, alright. Can't believe I didn't dodge that. When can I heal? We're actually getting a decent rate of healing from the Chlorophyte armor as well. Almost there. Not really. Ouch. Can I heal yet? No. Oh, I should use the uh, Rod of Discord to get around him. Easy. That's a rotation that takes like 15 seconds. Some of the time. Fantastic. I just gotta be careful with uh, Terraria's weird weapon switching. Why can't I teleport right now? What? Okay. Alright. You can queue up switching weapon with Terraria, but if you let go of attack and then attack again... If you're still attacking from the last attack, it, it won't, like, switch weapon. It'll continue firing whatever you're firing. Alright, did we get our drop this time? We did not. 
What time is it? We've got four minutes till night time. Let's try again. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, no. Rip. Rod of Discord. This time. Whoops. I think we can just squeeze through this time. Timer on four seconds. Crap. Whoops, that was bad. Six seconds till I can port. I can spend more time damaging if I use the Rod of Discord to switch. Because I don't have to worry about dodging. Once more with feeling. There we go. Give us the ranged drop. How dare you? What time is it? 5.30? That was only a minute? 100% energy efficiency in those stations? Recharging stations, what? I should probably pay attention to the how much time is left on my buffs. Probably lost the damage buffs already. It's fine. Since I can switch so easily here, I'll do it. I almost lost track of where the biome was for a second there. Ow. Oh, that's nasty. How... That's... that's sneaky. That's rude. Just teleport backward the moment I'm gonna teleport past you. I think those big wave attacks come out if I get far enough away. Not four, actually. So if I stay relatively close, are we actually better off? That was bad timing. Don't think I need to heal though. It's almost over. There we go. Give us the range drop. No, not that one. It's 8 p.m. Let's go. Give me those essences. 
Alright. Let's go... Eye of Desolation. Oh, that looks kind of scary. And what happened to my summons? Oh, there they are. Probably should have re-upped my buffs before doing this. Judging by the amount of damage I've done so far, I think we'll probably be fine. Do I not have grab potions? I definitely should have checked my buffs before this. But I think we don't need to go upside down for this one. We can just do a big circle or something. That's a lot of damages. This armor is definitely better for compensating for less punishing mistakes more often compared to... what is this? Oh no. Are we playing a bullet hell game now? Is that what this... ow. Ow. That is what this is. Ow. I'm glad I've got Featherfall, at least. Gravity would be even better. Or both would be best. Okay. Uh, what's this? No? No, thank you. I... I refuse, actually. Is this the twins? Are we fighting the mini twins as well as this boss now? Uh-oh. So I can't fight it directly at the moment. Uh, timed it badly. I knew it was going to shoot again there. Like, at about that moment. Let's focus on dodging. Oh, well, we're at full health, pretty much. Oh, that was bad. That was bad. There we go. Now we have another phase. Okay. Alright. That seems reasonable. Should probably use this weapon again. I should probably not fight this where there's a giant rope ladder. I think we're okay. gonna try to dodge ride as soon as that missed me. Oh, and we have one more of these at least. Oh, okay. All right. All right. Okay. Oh, that's bad. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Hoisted by my own automatic door thing. Please no. No, not like this. Not like this. I should really disable those, uh, disable this thing before certain events or boss fights. Wait, you actually used a Featherfall potion when you already have wings? Yes. Because you can control your descent better before you use up all of your wings, uh, all of your flight time. Sure, it is easy. It it almost was. It it mostly was. This chlorophyte armor, though. All right then. Um, how about? Well, first of all, let me put this stuff away. I don't think I had a rose stone yet. No, I did. It was. 
No? Yeah, I did. It's down here. I don't think I had Abaddon. Alright. I can go here for now. What happens when you die? Uh, typically drop coins. And you can't pick them all back up, I'm pretty sure. Alright, let's get... Let's get some proper buff potions ready. Everyone's dead, Dave. Um, I can't use the pylon network now. In that case... I could use this one. The bullet hell is too much for my brain. Yeah, bullet hell in Terraria is kind of weird. What was I going to do here? Oh, not here. Actually, let me check. I never ended up doing that uh, fishing quest. Do we have time? We've got two minutes. Let's try and fucking speedrun this. Uh, down we go. To... The glowing mushrooms, because that's like a neutral biome. Up here. Let me in. Uh, I've got 90 seconds. I don't have any summons active. That's not going to help. Uh, fishing. Let's not bother with the angler gear. If we're somewhat lucky, we're going to get the quest fish in the next 30 seconds or so. Alright, you know what? Let's increase our chances. And increase our chances of dying as well. Armored cave fish. Bomb fish. Uh, specular fish. Specular fish. We've got like 45 seconds now. That's it. And now I need to rush over this way to the pylon. Teleport. Talk to the angler. No, come back. Stupid dodge input. We got there. 21 seconds left. Fantastic. Surprisingly wide margin. Alright, what's this? Brimstone Elemental Relic. I think we already placed those. Yeah, we did. Uh, Armored Cave Fish goes in here. All goes here. I shouldn't be carrying the goblin tech. What's in the void bag? Not a whole lot. Seething discharge. Oh, it goes through walls? Oh. Oh, well that changes things. That is a pretty damn good weapon. We got another traveling merchant. Put the chum caster back. Let's wear our armor. Uh, should I maybe... Wow. This chlorophyte armor, though. Should I maybe wear mage gear? No, until we've got, like, razor blade typhoon or something... I don't think it's that good for boss fights right now. Can I sell this? Yeah, I shouldn't fight that thing here. That rope ladder and especially the trapdoor kind of screwed me over. Oh, it's not night time now. We can't fight it for a while. Should I try and get the range to drop off of that other boss? Uh, 
Actually, considering how much the Chlorophyte armor heals us, I'd definitely like to go to the trouble of swapping out some of this offensive gear. Oh, we actually already did that. Yeah, this is actually pretty balanced. Never mind. I also forgot that I have these fishing gear things. Whoops. Let's do another fishing quest while we're thinking about it. Uh, and then we'll pick up more of these potions. Also, what in ocean? Well, that's pretty easy. Let's fix the uh, water issue here as well. Preferably by getting given a never-ending sponge as soon as I hand this in. Not so lucky. Let's go get some wire. Oops. We'll need... Could, could, could we not? Thank you. We need to move this pump. Outlet pump goes here. I guess the cake is going to get ground. And we need blue wire over here. And then I think I might have broke this earlier. The one problem with the toll gates is we can't use wires to necessarily close them because there isn't a tile that is only um, there isn't a tile where it only binds the door if the door is open um, and I don't think there's a way to detect if a door is open The only way this ended up stuck open was when zombies, um, when zombies barged their way in, though. Alright, that should sort itself out automatically. Um, we already did the fishing quest. Let's put the wire away. I already made this unreal, right? Of course I did. Alright. While we're waiting for night time to try that boss again... Oh, I almost forgot. Damage potions. And... Do I have a portal back here? I do not. Oops. Traveling merchant has stolen the tavern keep's chair. Do we have a stopwatch? I think we do. Whatever, I'll get some spares. Gatlinator. Uh it's a material. It wouldn't normally be very good at this point. Gatlinator plus Clockwork Assault Rifle plus Venus Magnum. I think Venus Magnum is a drop from Plantera. We also need Ectoplasm and Life Alloy. Gives us the Clock Gatling Num. Gatling Num? Converts musket balls into strings of three high velocity bullets. Nice. It's still a material. 94 range damage. Sounds pretty buggers. Uh, I don't know if we have an extendo grip yet. Let's put that back in its place. If we do, we already did. And I'll put the Gatlinator in with the Clockwork Assault Rifle. It seems we didn't have a stopwatch. Oh, it makes Goblin Tech. We already had one. It's fine. I 
need to replace the life force potions. We've still got 400 blood orbs. I can just do another blood moon whenever I want. It's easier to farm these at the same rate and a lot more fun than farming up uh, prismite to make life force potions. What did I just run out of? Daybloom, mushroom, bottled water. Do we not have daybloom? Oh. I guess I haven't been farming it for a while. We've only got 97 daybloom seeds. Hopefully that'll be enough. Whoops. I don't know that... Uh, I don't know that we necessarily strictly need planters for the daybloom. Or more to the point, I don't know where I would really put them. I could try Duke Fisher on during the day. Might be a good idea. Uh, and I can just buy the regen potions somewhere or other, I'm pretty sure. Here it is. Grab some thorns and swift while we're at it. Come to think of it, we've got gigantic stack sizes, there's no reason that I should be letting it get this low. I'm just used to it from vanilla. Keeping it at like 15 or so in case we pick up some more. Whoops, whoops. Let's grab some more of these. We'll go down to like 150 blood orbs. Alright, we got defense, we got vision, swiftness, damage, uh, featherfall, bacon. I think we're more than prepared. Get our sanguine bats back. Maybe I should make a teleporter to go over to this biome. I won't do it right now since I literally just activated buff potion. Maybe next time. How you got so much bacon? Uh, it is... We've got so many of these, I'm just going to delete it. Uh, if you... If there's a party... And I think you can force a party... I don't know if you have to have a party before you can buy the party machine, but you can force a party. Anyway, when there is a party, you can buy... I forget exactly what they're called, but they're basically... Um... What are those things that you hang and hit and candy comes out? L loot? Piñata, piñata. Uh, you can buy piñatas from the party girl. Uh, and sometimes they have bacon. And considering how good bacon is... I don't know if the 24 minutes is vanilla or not, actually. Um, but considering how good bacon is, uh, I would definitely say it's worth spending a ton of money on those. And you can open them really rapidly if you... You put them on the ceiling and then you can hit them and open them, but you can open them much more rapidly if you're... If you grapple them, they get opened. 
So if you're grappling to the ceiling, you can just place them above you and they instantly get opened. And you get flask of party, party bullets, bacon, and a little bit of money back. Vanilla bacon was one of the top food items too. Seems good. Alright. Have I killed this thing enough times to... Well, no. Okay. I actually want this spoiled. Is there going to be another boss that I fight in this area specifically? Because just to farm for that one ranged item, I feel like cutting away some of these houses, which could be arguably called an arena. But I've already killed it like six times. Whatever, let's just do this. I need better flight time. I need those fish on wings. Okay, so that red is actually projecting a teleport. Probably could have noticed that sooner. That sometimes helps us. Oh, it's nearly 7.30. Fantastic. Good timing. Wait, I don't have teleport. How rude. There we go. Gimme, gimme. Gimme the range thing. Oh, we got it. Is it any good? 13 range damage? Probably not. Spread of three bullets converts musket balls into explosive bullets. That's... That doesn't look like... Oh, those are not musket bullets. Enemies that touch the gun while it's being fired trigger a massive explosion. <laughs> After the explosion, this gun gains a massive boost to damage. Fire rate and knockback for 10 seconds. Stack bonuses decay over time. Does extra damage to enemies shot at point blank like every other gun. Okay. I should be fighting the boss, but I have to test this. Um, about over here. What are you selling? Nothing new that I can see? Whatever. Alright, let's... I can't get rid of the uh, leaf crystal, actually. Let's try and find something to test this on. If, if it could not die that easily. How about the boss from here? Oh. That's... That's definitely a bit more aggressive. How long does this buff last? It's 
it's gone. Does it work on a target dummy so we can see? I guess the super target dummy would work. Nope. Don't, I, I don't think it's going to be that good still at this stage. This seems like the kind of item that uh, is never good by the time you get it. Probably. Alright, we've still got most of the night. Let's stack this stuff away. Uh, get ready with the chlorophyte bullets. Put this in the collection. Don't need another brimstone elemental relic. Uh, grab... Grab potion. We've got featherfall. What else? We've got damage, damage resistance, grab featherfall, light... And I've actually run out of stimulants. Uh-oh. Stimulants. We could make it out of 50 of these. Is there another way? Any food, endurance, iron skin, titan, swiftness. That's a lot cheaper. Let's grab our crappy food. Let's put bacon down here. Seafood dinner now counts as crappy food. Uh, it was iron skin. I, I think it was just titan that it is what we don't normally carry. Can we buy titan? Not from you. I thought someone sold Titan. We could just make it if it comes to that. We've got a million iron skin already. Um, that's not Titan. That's not Titan. I'm just going to make it. How do we make Titan skin? Uh, Titan potion. Why do I keep saying Titan skin? I don't want to make it out of blood orbs. Here it is. Bone, Deathweed, Silver. That's quite cheap. Alright, and then stimulants. Fantastic. And don't use the bacon. Nice. Merchant sells titans. Okay, thank you for that. Um, stack this away, stack this away. Oh, I don't have this in a chest. Is that every... Every buff that I want? Titan doesn't do anything against a boss. I didn't see this boss drop any hearts. All right, I think we're good. What time is it? We've only got like three minutes. Uh, let's call this a practice run. I want to fight it somewhere else though. Ocean? Why not? Because I haven't done my buffs. The, the other buffs, that is. Up we go. And... Eye of Desolation. And buffs. 
Fantastic. Probably going to run out of time. We've only got two minutes. Or does it go away at morning? Maybe it insta-kills us at morning like Skeletron. We're going to find out. I forgot I have grab. That helps. We can go around it sometimes. If it'll let us. Definitely doesn't want us to be above it. Alright, so this is... Bullet hell time. Definitely a lot easier when we're not about to hit the ground. Ow, ow, ow. I should probably not be using chlorophyte armor for this. I should, I should compare the damages as well with the different armor sets. Ow. We're halfway there. Oh, we've got 30 seconds left if morning is our time limit. So what was it? I said we had two minutes? Probably going to take about four minutes to kill. I should definitely use this weapon when those two are next to each other, which seems to be always. Let me through. Oh, it doesn't actually hit me. That's good. It's morning. Is it enraging? Oh, crap. Oh, no. I think we're in trouble. Uh-oh. This might be bad. This might be a situation where I need the, uh... Uh, the shell to teleport to the ocean. But I don't have it. Oh boy. Okay, it's not actually, like, tangible. Can I do anything about it? Do I have to wait for the other segments? Uh-oh. What if we use that thing what speeds time up? C could you let me pass? No? I guess not. Alright, I'll wait for your friends. We'll go to the left. This is fine. They're still coming. They just passed the main town. Oh, we're in this biome now. Let me through. Alright. This is fine. Once they catch up... We're going to use the Potion of Return again. And I'm going to use the Sundial. The Enchanted Sundial. And now that I think about it, it's probably going to fast forward time to the next morning. So that might not help at all. Oh, that's bad. That's... Can I get past? No, no. I was one millisecond away from hitting potion. Okay. Um, I want to test... Well, no, it's... There's no point in testing this while the boss isn't trying to chase us. I think what would have happened if I used this is it would have fast-forwarded to the next morning. And we still would have been in that boss fight. It's 
probably how that would have worked. Let's go get our precious grave marker. Since it takes so many of them to make a grave... Uh, ooh. Since it takes so many of them to make a graveyard biome in Calamity. It disappeared! I was gonna... I was gonna remove the tree so that it could get placed. Rip. Alright, strange plants. What do we have? Gel dye? Seen that before. Not this playthrough, apparently. And... I need more chlorophyte ammo. Oh, we've got some good chunks of chlorophyte to harvest. Let's grab some... Some mud. Where, where did I put the mud? I thought it was in the same chest. Here it is. Is that where it goes if I saw it? No. Here it is. Alright. As is light. Chlorophyte block number one. Just gonna swap out all of these except for one. I guess I can't really reach in that far. You know what? That's fine. It'll probably grow faster this way. And we have one over here. Let's do it from above and below. hope they'll eventually sell us chlorophyte bullets. I imagine they will. Can I do this faster with... yeah, it looks like I can. Nice that they let us put that in the vanity slots now. Is there a block missing here? And get out of my way. And we go. One more over here. Whoop, 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 whoop. Okay. Uh, our corruption biome is rather small, but it is spreading. Crimson is going to fill out some of this area. I might have to take uh, some forest biome, plantaminator ammo, remove some of the crimson so we can make more room for the corruption.
Alright, two more of these, and we've already got 194 Chlorophyte Ore. How have those ones missed? Fantastic. Beat the lava. That's a nice block of chlorophyte. Two hundred and sixty seven or sixty seven bars and quite a lot of bullets if we are so inclined, which we are. Only five K, ouch. Well, to be fair, I guess that's five stacks in vanilla. Alright, 2.10pm. Um, I think I'd like to hit some Crimson Mimics and Corruption Mimics, but they'll take time to find. We've only got seven souls of night. Isn't it a bit late, actually? Like, if we got the Daedalus bow, that would be behind what we've got now. The sulfuric skies begin to clear. Whoops. I think I missed a chance for... an event. I could... Oh, five sulfuric scale. We can make this. Where is it? Sulfuric... Or is it something else? Do we have sulfuric scale? Yeah, we do. We have lots. Uh, where do I make it? It said it was made by hand. Did it not? Needs water. Okay. Does a sink count? It does. Fantastic. Let's go do that event. I think Chlorophyte Armor actually will be appropriate this time, but I want to compare this. Let's say we look at the Seas Searing. 63 ranged damage with the Chlorophyte gear. It's exactly the same. What about crit? 25? It's exactly the same deeps. Um, apparently. Yeah, we should definitely be using the hallowed gear for boss fights. You know what? I'm just going to put it in the piggy bank. And when we swap class, we'll just swap this helmet out. But for the acid rain event... We're fighting lots of small things. I think the Chlorophyte armor will be best. Let's head on over. I forgot to refresh my summons. Uh. Oh wait, I've got them here, actually. Do I want to go triple bat, though? I think I'd rather have this and double bat still.
All right. A good mixture of range and hitting things straight away. Oh, this is crimson now? Oh, it was always crimson. How is this not crimson? That is quite the lucky bit of biome spread prevention. Alright, up we go. A toxic downpour falls over the wasteland seas. And it's like an army invasion. It's like... Oh. Okay, you know what? Have some chlorophyte bullets. Why not? We have many more. Magic missile might be the way to go here, actually. We don't need that kind of damage. What the heck is that? I see some kind of cloud monster. Is that a boss? Not really? Alright, all the buffs. We're gonna take this seriously now. Should have brought Heart Reach, but that's okay. Oh, I've got the Magnet on? Uh, no, I don't think that's the way. They begin to clear. Did we beat it? I didn't see what our progress was. Acid rain post AS. Oh, is it because I started it too early? It's 7.53 p.m. now. Oh, too late, rather. I guess it doesn't happen at night. We've got lanterns. Huh? Uh, I... I'm confused. M confusion. Can I do this again? Nope. Okay, it doesn't work at night. Alright then. Um, while we've got our buffs, and while it's early at night, let's do this guy. I should have dodged that. I thought I could hold course and just get over it and then change course after that. That didn't work either. Should probably not be fighting this where there's all this weird terrain. Maybe I should go back to the seas. Oh, come on. I don't particularly love doing bullet hell things with this uh, relatively awkward Terraria movement. Bullet hell games have extremely responsive and consistent play a character movement. Dodge. Oh, this is bad. 
This is better. I want to get to somewhere flatter. That's what I'm going this way for. This is actually working pretty well. Just going in a straight line for the mo- uh-oh. Okay. Okay. Let's see the minimap. This is actually working a little too well. Just kiting. The kind of thing you get seriously punished for by the Moon Lord. Oh, we're on the... we're on that phase already. That's good. And here I am just still trying to get to where I want to be with a with flat ground to deal with. I guess we've just stayed in the sky that much. Uh, yeah, I think, uh... I think we found a way to minimize the difficulty for this boss. as aggressive as I expected them. Did they get nerfed for Calamity? Alright. That wasn't that hard. We got a broken hero sword? I just realized you don't have the music mod for Calamity. This is true. Oh, these things are stronger than I thought. Alright, should we do that boss again, but without the... Being uncomfortable with the location. What time is it though? 12.50. It might end up being morning. I don't think I want to do that. The Dasher. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright, what loot did we get? I don't see a loot bag. Is it in the void bag? There it is. Treasure bag... We got Calamitous Clone Relic. So was that the Calamitous Clone? Uh, one, two, three from Skeletron Prime. One, two... Was it Skipping Three or the third one? One, two, three. Skeletron Prime. One, two, three. So it skips two. Okay, cool. Let's open this see what we get. Animosity. 54 range damage, right click to fire a burst. Fires a powerful sniper round. 54 doesn't sound powerful at this point. 50% chance to not consume ammo. Uh, it looks like it gives us high velocity rounds. Let's have deeps. And I need to make room. Let's put this away for now. You might want to swap armor. Oh, I forgot. Rip. Void of Calamity. 12% increase to all damage. Is this a straight up... I forgot to put on the Avenger emblem as well. Okay. Is this just a straight upgrade from the Avenger emblem as far as we're concerned right now? Brimstone fire rains down after getting hit. Looks like it. And we need it to make... Void of Extinction. It actually gives us less increase to all damage. And it gives us... Oh, 8 defense. That's... Okay, that's a decent side grade. 
But we need all of this weird stuff. We've got Abaddon. We can make Molten Skull Rose. We've got Gehenna. We've got this now. We need Core of Chaos and Scoria Bar. Scoria Bar is yellow, which suggests it's about as late game as uh, Spectre Bars. Caustic Crocus Staff? Oh, that's that random thing from before. We've got those lying around. Get out of here. Ashes of Calamity. That's why I wanted to fight that boss. Um, let's just put that in the Calamity Heart Mode materials chest for now. And I'll put this in damage. That's not damage. I'll sort that later. Uh, I don't think we need tatted... Oh, we can make a blindfold? Okay. Where am I keeping silk? Silk? I don't think I do have silk here. Okay. What's this? Entropy's Vigil. One minion trio takes two minion slots? Uh... Summons Calamitous and her brothers to protect you? Lol. One minion trio takes two minion slots. That's kind of not great. Let's see what she can do. You're not even going to attack that through a wall? I guess not. Crispy Memories? Thank you for the follow. Welcome. Okay, that looked powerful. Um, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Mm, it's not that powerful. I think it was the other stuff. So this looks like a... Uh... Honestly, it seems like a bad twins summon. I'm back. Have we defeated Fishron yet? No, I killed some other bosses in the meantime. Oops. I'm trying to see if this summon has any value. It doesn't seem to. Maybe I'm missing something. Let's put this in the collection. Um, now would be a good time to go after Fish Run. Oh, Animosity. So it's basically a right click for clock a Clockwork Assault Rifle. What the? Wait, where did it go? Oh, it went on the freaking... Give me that. DPS is... I mean, higher than the clockwork, but still not impressive. Wait, why is it doing a... Hold on, what? Why is it doing the three shot when I left click now? Why is a powerful sniper round right click to fire a burst of bullets? When I left click, it does the... First, but with did I did I glitch it? Um, I get the feeling this is not supposed to do ten thousand DPS. I don't think it's supposed to fire the three sniper shots in 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 a burst like that. Um. What? I, I don't think I can, like, fix it either. Yeah, I, I... I wanted to see how good this was or wasn't. Oh, now it now it's behaving? How did I fix it? 
I'm not sure. So it's like over 2000 DPS if we use the snipe and pierce and hit three targets. What's the damage per shot like? Uh, a thousand when it crits. Even though it says 56 range damage. 509? Okay, I think the, the, the number here is a bit misleading. But what... I guess I could try it in the slot of the dart rifle. I haven't been using that. And then we can free up this inventory slot. The high velocity shot fired by Animosity's left click attack deals 580% of the weapon's overall damage, including the damage being contributed by the ammunition used. Nice. Alright, we can maybe make use of that, especially with chlorophyte bullets. Let's give it a re-roll. So it's going to be over 600 damage on a snipe. Without critting? What's the crit like? 25%? It's the same as like everything else. What do I need here? What's this flashy... It's hard to see, but I think I need to put some kind of item here. Oh, what? Hold on. I think it's, uh... It is using the chlorophyte bullets, but they're not homing. Yeah, so we do a few hundred damage with that. Rate of fire is not bad for something so high impact. The right click attack has a fixed use time of 12 ticks, with each bullet having a use time of 4, and the left click attack has a fixed use of 35. No modifier can increase or decrease the firing rate of the gun, and they gave us Unreal anyway? Why did we get negative 9% velocity? What the? Those are some weird modifiers. Well, I don't know. Um, usually when I reach for this sort of weapon, I want the bounce from the darts. And if we're going to use the pierce, I could use this. Ooh, what's that? Stardust. I think Stardust is what they wanted us to put up here, maybe? The god of the stars rejects your offering. The ritual can only be performed at night. Okay. Alright, well that weapon's not as bad as I thought, but I don't know if I'll actually use it. I should probably put this here, now that I think about it. And I don't know what should go up here. Maybe the uh, sword that I was using for movement. Yeah, that seems good. Alright, so I know what to do with this Stardust stuff, other than use it as a material. What else did we get? Broken Hero Sword. Goes into an awful lot of things these days. I might not even worry about what it's used for just yet. Stack these away. Item heart. Also used at the astral beacon. Oh, was this? It wasn't actually the stardust. It was this, wasn't it? And we need 
Astral Monolith times uh, 34, 44, and three of these to make Titan Heart, Mask, Mantle, and Boots. 12, 17, 14 defense. It's about the same. Rogue weapons. Rogue weapons, rogue weapons. Okay. What be this? Strong Oblivion? Oh, it's a yo-yo. Fires brimstone lasers when enemies are, ye are near? Okay, that's kind of cool. Corroded fossil. It's very sturdy. Shell shooter plus toxic bow plus this makes a bigger bow. Bone javelins plus this makes this. And miasma, magic damage. Nimbus Rod, Aquamarine Staff. Okay. Let's put that away for now. The damage does still depend on ammo, though. Okay. Uh, I think I'm going to take a little break here. Do some words on the stream. Just make sure I've got it set up properly. What's on stream will start in about 30 seconds. I'll be back in a few minutes. Good luck, have fun, and I'll see you soon.
Oh no, you're so close. Uh, that's actually kind of tricky. Hey, Evil Pla. Good to see you again. Well, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright, nothing bad happened. Let's continue with, uh, Calamity. And I definitely want to, uh, want to try for Duke before we finish. We got like 40 minutes. The only other boss I'm interested in right now is repeating Eye of Desolation, or rather the, uh, Calamitous. But we can't do that during the day. So let's do some Duke. Entropy's Vigil. Oh, that's not a debuff. You'd think it was. Alright. Um, all, all boss fight potions, please. Including... Have I run out? No, flipper potions, just in case we dip our heads into the water. Um... We're not doing mage, we're not doing archery, hunter is included in this, we've still got 14 of these, I'm not worried about the shine potions to be honest, Jeel Jelly said Leia twice and it only gave it to Zayla 2 when they said it? Uh, it's probably just the lag. I would imagine. I think that's everything for our boss buffs. I certainly hope so. Uh, we'll definitely be using Chlorophyte bullets when we switch to the Mega Shark. I want to try and see... I should try using the Rod of Discord and... Probably not the Oath Sword. I should maybe try using the Rod of Discord to escape the worst of his final phase. Um, why don't we carry these with us this time? Alright. Might have been locked. Oh yeah, there's that. All right, let's get ready mentally. Oh, I need some bait first. It's actually getting close to nighttime already. I guess I could, oops. Can I, there we go. Wait, who is selling? It's this guy. Alright, truffle worms, go. Deep breath. Oh, wrong armor, wrong armor. Let's check all the things. Could the water stop doing that, please? Thank you. And we got... Uh, we don't have all the menacing gear on. We, we definitely want that. We've got two invulnerabilities and everything else is going to be damage, basically. And menacing. Uh, and the wings. I don't think the... F what is it? 5%? 9% damage total from the wings. I, I think the angel wings are still better, actually. So we'll stick with these. All right. Summoning potion, two bats, and fishing time. This is probably better DPS. Uh, 
though. He looks kind of weird in blue, though. Oh, I've got Featherfall on, that's why it's sometimes catching. Um, can I fix this? Uh, you know what? Get out of my inventory. Okay, Featherfall, be gone. It's fine, we'll buy some more Featherfalls. We're just straight up running from Duke all the time. And we're just sometimes slowing the rate at which we run. I don't really want Featherfall with this one. This thing's very effective against the bubbles. easier with the cursed bullets from the Mega Shark to keep up the attacks and see where he is and everything. Uh, the damage from this is definitely not bad. Oh, and it just shreds all those sharks in the air if we get that angle. to the fun part soon. Time to switch to Mega Shark. Oh god, I can't... No! I dodged into him right before it. Oh, hello. Okay, this might work. I don't think the homing bullets are helping that much. Gotta swap, gotta swap. I have no- no, 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 please, not like this. I have no freaking grab potion at that exact moment. Oh my god. Please give us a damage item that helps us kill him again. Oh, that was too close. That was kind of lucky, to be honest. Down we go. I'm actually really surprised I didn't die at the end. Wait, why? Why is it showing his goodie bag is under the ground? The mutant terror of the sea was once the trusted companion of an old king. He tamed it using his fa its favorite treat. Long ago, the creature flew into desperation from the raging, bloody inferno consuming its home, ultimately finding its way to the ocean. Uh, I wonder where I dropped that potion. Alright, what do you guys think? Are we going to get an item that makes it easy to kill him? Or are we going to get, like, the one thing, the one weapon that's not going to do it? Here we go. Flare on. Could do worse. This is like the second worst. Uh, second worst weapon we could get, I think, for fighting Duke. I think we're gonna go, uh, melee against him this time. And we got the flying mount like when we go upside down it just disappears. Oh, wait, 
We got Razor Blade Typhoon? <gasps> we got more than one drop? Oh my goodness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I thought we only got one weapon. I think this is Calamity's doing. We got Razor Blade Typhoon. And we didn't actually drop the Featherfall potions because I had it favorited. Whoops. Alright, this is it. We're going mage. Now the, now the real fun begins. Uh, let's put, what, uh, let's put all of our ranged weapons that we're using in here in an organized fashion. That's not a ranged weapon. And where did the bait go? Is it in here? No, it's here. You absolute dub. Okay. Uh, Flareon is gonna go here. The best weapon against Duke is clearly the Sergeant United Shield. Definitely. We're gonna re-roll the Typhoon. Fantastic. And I'll probably be using this regardless of what class I'm running. I'll have it in this slot for a long time to come. Um, Crystal Assassin gear is still decent. I'll use Hallowed for boss fights regardless. At least for the foreseeable future. Where are my boots? Here we go. Maybe Chloroplate? No, I, I think I like the Crystal Assassin if we're not doing a boss fight. Uh, that way we have another accessory slot, which for Mage is kind of a big deal. I'll put the menacing gear in the offensive chest. Uh, we're not using the ranger emblem right now. We will be using... Sorcerer emblem. And mana cloak, probably. Uh, celestial emblem as opposed to Amalgamated Brain? Yeah, definitely. So we have one, two, three, four mage accessories, basically, if you count the neutral one. And Crystal Assassin gear is nice. Mage plus ranged hybrid. Uh, what are we going to keep from ranged? Definitely the Particle Accelerator. Maybe the Sea Searing? Nah, as soon as we get Bubble Gun from Duke, we'll swap that out. Uh, Meow Thrower? I, I think we're going to have more. Yeah, we're probably going to have like one ranged weapon. Oh, and this. We'll see. Depends what spells we've got right now. We do have the Rainbow Rod, of course. That's uh, that's something I'm holding on to as any class. Um, we could... Nah, this is, this is better than Laser Rifle. And we've got the ranged and mage hybrid gear here. Next window is Friday. Artemis got scrubbed. Oh, unfortunate. I might have to watch it. Maybe even watch it on stream if it's at the same time. I think I probably have an audience that would overlap with that interest quite a lot. Way washer. Not this thing. 
Now I have to remember all the promising looking spells that I've found. Uh, yes. Yes, please. That can probably be slot three. And downpour? Nah, no, I think I think downpour is sort of just a worse uh oh it's it's a much worse one of these. What else have we got here? Harp has done its job. I want the bubble gun. Yeah, this seems good. Until we get something really good that's specifically mage. Uh, I might swap this out for the black spot and just put the black spot away. Duke fish run relic. Oh, yes. Where's the duke in this list? I was looking for him before. I didn't see him. I saw old duke. Moonlord is here. I'm looking at the icons now. Dragonfly? Oh, Duke Fisheron, there he is. Uh so we need to skip Oh my goodness, how many According to the uh boss log, I've gone like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, uh, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 bosses and or events ahead. So it's 1, 2, uh, which things do we get relics from? You know what, I'm just going to put the Duke up here for now. We'll figure out exactly where he fits later. And now that we've got Razorblade Typhoon... Oh. I could try using this against Duke. We'll have more damages, one less invulnerability. Damage is actually really important to kill Duke, so maybe this isn't actually bad. In vanilla, any kind of early duke, you absolutely need to use the hallowed armor. But with the menacing brain of conf uh, with the brain of confusion giving an invuln, uh, it's a little different. I suppose brand of the inferno is more or less equivalent to sergeant uniting shield against duke. Friend of the Inferno. I don't know that one. You can also use the Shield of Cthulhu to deflect him sometimes, but typically he'll just hit you again. Zopentrope, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, yeah, Sea Searing can stay here for now, I think. We've got Homing Missile Spam. We've got more... Utility, homing missile. We've got pierce everything. We've got shoot through walls. And we've got like zero mana attack. Which is good as well. Let's reforge this thing. And... I guess try to immediately kill Duke again. Let's put away the Feather Falls. Those are not helping in that particular fight, since we're always trying to get away. Where are my flipper potions? Don't tell me the flippers are the ones I dropped. Oh no. Where did they go? Flipper potions, come back. They could be anywhere. I mean, they should be in the ocean biome. I... 
That's weird. Oh, and I forgot to check the void bag. Oh, here they are. That's not where I was expecting to find them, but okay. I was actually checking if there was more Duke stuff there. With Sergeant Uniting, you don't even need armor at all, technically. <laughs> you just need to be able to get away and enrage him really quickly. Enrage him? Alright. Uh, let me put away these boss summons for now. So, this next one should be a lot easier, but I am dropping a invulnerability for damage and stuff. Oh, this is a material? We're not close to making this yet, I don't think. Ashes of Calamity? Core of Chaos Scoria Bar is what we need. Alright, let's redo our... Summons. I... My one complaint I do have with summons in this game, it's really difficult to manage, like, the order of the summons. Like, if you want to swap what summons you're using as you go, it's a problem. And when it... You would think the first summon that you... The first thing that you summon... If you then summon more things, and then you go back down to having a limit of one, uh, you would think this would be the one that's left, but apparently it was Sanguine Bat. That's Thorns. Okay. Away we go. When enraged, he does nothing but charge at you, so you can just constantly parry him to death. <laughs> oh my god. That's hilarious. Alright, let's try doing it again. Hopefully much more easily this time. We didn't get Duke Wings. That would also help. Don't really need the Grav Potion this early, I guess. Now I need the Grab Potion. I need the mini-map as well. We do not want to back into a corner. Look at how fast he's dying this time. Razor Blade Typhoon don't care about those bubbles. even a little bit. So, I want to, now that this is a bit easier, I want to pay attention to exactly what percentage he starts his final phase. That would have been good to know. Fifteen percent now. Thirteen already? Oh, this is it. 
Come to think of it, the Crystal Assassin gear does give us more mobility as well. Oh, crap. Okay, 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 okay. Okay. I think we got him. He's still on 8%. Oh, crap. Having a harder time finishing him with Razor Blade Typhoon than I expected. A much harder time hitting him with this than expected, actually. Let's try... Uh... Oh, no. Oh, no. The bubbles would have been so much better. You know what? Uh... This would probably work quite well to finish him off. The damage increase from this set is actually totally class agnostic. The only thing that's range and magic specific is... Uh, is mana and ammo usage. 4%? Yeah, but it was such a long 4%. He's so hard to hit in that last phase with the Typhoon. But I think the Flare on would be the way to go for that part. I actually wanted to compare... Is it actually more damage with the Hallowed Gear? Let's see, 176, 19, it's actually significantly more, wow, okay. Except for the part where we have to give up an accessory slot. 171 versus 176. Um, or I could manually consume mana potions. Considering we're going to use Laron at the end. Hang on, 105 versus 107. This is more damage when we're specifically on the mage gear? Hmm. Okay. It's not just going to be easier to have the auto mana consumption. Uh, we actually deal more damage because, not just the menacing here, but because when you drink a mana potion, it gives you a mana damage debuff for a few seconds. But I think it would probably be worth... Let's grab the Shield of Cthulhu. Because it's only in the easy phase that I'm going to have to be paying attention to consuming mana potions, because we're going to switch to the flare on to have him to try to have him run into the bubbles. They are homing bubbles as well uh, in the final phase. If we got the bubble gun, the the mana bubble gun, that would have been by far the easiest. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to be using this anymore. Probably, maybe? Well, not for the boss fight, anyway. I shouldn't put it there. I should put it with the other stuff. Alright. Minion. If we summon this one last... Will it remain if we run out of minion slots? Let's find out. Where did all these mana stars come from? I think it's the small sharks when they die. It's not enough to like carry us through the fight or anything. Oops. We could maybe kill that other boss right now, though, instead.
In which case, we could have fun with the crystal assassin gear because movement counts. Alright. Where is that summon? Here it is. Eye of Desolation. Let's do it at the ocean anyway, since that's just a good spot. It's already down to 87%. I haven't used buff potions yet either. Do we even need to with this boss? Now that we have Razor Blade Typhoon? Uh, I guess we get more defense with the buff potions. Maybe I should just take... Ow. Ow. Oh, that's really, really bad already, actually. Holy crap. Oh my goodness. Okay. Alright. Let's try and keep our distance for a minute. And we don't have the healing armor. I really need to make sure I... S oh. Oh, I'm on. I need to make sure I stay in the sky for this bullet hell nonsense. Because once we hit the ground, we run out of space. We can't dodge. Oh no! I did the thing again where I thought I was going to go over it at the end and then I didn't. Alright, let's try that again. We didn't see anything. I really don't like the... Why isn't this working? Oh, because I've still got it? What? That's so weird. Wait, what? There we go. Let's go to the ocean. Let's actually use our buffs early this time. Yeah, I particularly don't like the bullet hell stuff with Terraria's character movement. But the main thing is we need to be in the sky for this. We don't run out of space this way. In fact, look how easy this is. It's because we're not hitting the ground. And now that I've got plenty of health, I'm not feeling so threatened by the rest of it. I should even probably make sure I'm in space when the bullet hell part stop, uh, starts. There it is. Not getting the same kind of damage out of that. Just stay in the sky. Let me down, please. Oh my god, you're not juggling me to death. Are you actually serious? That was just effectively a one-hit kill. Uh, I'm not going to bother with the extra minion. I don't think it makes that much difference. Okay, so don't go to space. Just almost go to space, kind of like with Duke Fisher on.
That was literally just a death combo. What time is it? I think we have time. Because we've got lots of damage now. Okay, don't go to space. Those attacks should probably avoid them regardless. Let's not go too high, that was cringe. Double tap is not the best input for dodge. Shift left or right would be better. shitty part. One more... Are, are you serious? And we're out of space. And the bad part is over. Okay. There's mods for that? Really? I might have to look for that. What's the time now? Morning. What did we get this time? Same things? What's this? Lashes of Chaos. 126 magic damage. Watch the world burn? It's very fast. It doesn't go through... Oh my god. That... <laughs> doesn't go through the ground or anything. Oh, it does like the fork thing. Alright. Should we try fish run one more time? But we finish the stream? What buffs do we have? All of them just barely... We're gonna run out of endurance at the end of the fight. Probably. Maybe. Give me endurance and flip up potions just in case. Uh, I think everything else is good actually. All right. We're down to... oh, 61 bacon. Never mind. I definitely should have gone for the double invulnerability against that boss. Just no sailing one more BS uh, bullet hell bit. Make all the difference. Alright, so we have to manually consume mana potions this time. But we'll only need to do that for the easy phase. And then for the hard phase we're going to switch to Flare On. Where did my minions go? Oh well going to deal that much damage. Oh. 
Nope. Nope. That was a bad way to waste my invulnerability, or one of them. I already got it back though. The, uh, the hallowed armor, the way the cooldown works for the invulnerability is very sort of inconsistent. Because it lasts for 30 seconds and then you trigger it again by dealing damage. But I think when you can do that depends on when it was triggered or something. And it happens in like 30 second rotations, I'm not sure. We've only used like 5 mana potions or so, if that. Alright, flare on time. It's hitting him. Not... Uh, it's actually working really well. Oh, ow. Oh no. Oh no. How fast can we kill him? Preferably before I have to rotate again? Nope. Oh, uh, this is actually working pretty well. Now I have to fall. Let me, let me go. Yes, that is definitely much easier. And do we get bubble gun? Can we have a little bubble gun as a treat? We got the temp, <gasps> we got the wings though. Hell yes, don't need flipper potions anymore. Flight time 180, quick travel in water, very fast. Acceleration multiplier 2. Horizontal speed 8 as opposed to 6.25. It's a material now, hell yes. Any wings. Oh. So we're probably losing something if we use this as a material. Never mind. Angel Treads plus Wings. Uh, plus Luminite Bar. Okay, that's not going to be for a while. Alright, and we got Warding as well. No need to re-roll that. A dash button instead of double tapping. Can I use, like, shift left or shift right instead? Is that possible? Quick Lashes of Chaos. Oh, that's this thing. Yes, nice. Very, very nice. Okay, so we've basically got everything, as far as I can think of, from Duke Fisheron. Uh, the only thing... the un uh, Except for the bow and uh, the bubble gun. Which are both really, really good, and we want them. But we got the wings, that's nice. In vanilla, at least. Look at this, I almost go to space just by holding the space bar. Lamau. No double jump or anything, we're just... That's just how high, high we fly in one, one fish run wing jump. We don't have any other, except for the angel treads, we don't have anything else that gives us flight. And then without flipper potion, we move fast in water. Very cool. Very, very fast, actually. Alright, so we've established... Laron much, much better than Razorblade Typhoon for finishing the final phase of Duke. Bubblegun would have been a little bit better, I think, but it's fine. Also, this is a material now. Wow. Okay, that's a lot of flares. Dragon Pow. A thousand melee damage. Jeez. 
let's put on our fun gear. We can move a bit more freely this way. And I think... I guess we're doing Calamity tomorrow, so I won't farm Duke off stream, I suppose. Maybe I will. We've proven we can do it, and it's getting easier. Alright, let's see who's streaming maybe Terraria today. We'll see. Although, Mucky did stop by. I think I've already raided these two recently. Bye bye, thanks for the stream. No worries. Take care, Evil Plot. Thanks for hanging out. Cheers for stream, till next time, see you next time. Thanks for hanging out, Jimbo Panda. Yeah, I think we'll say... Oh, unless someone's doing Calamity... Not that I can see. Well... Alright, let's drop in on Mucky today, why not? in a minute. Thank you all for watching. Do take care, and I'll see you next time. Check out, uh, if you're into Factorio, the blueprints or the Discord, if you like, if you have any questions, by all means. And uh, until next time, stay safe. Take care, guys. Zop and Trop, see you next time. There's the world map, research, trade, statistics. <coughs> Pardon me, I'm sorry about that. <coughs> T-Hex, thank you very much for the raid. Um, go and you, I think you were playing Terraria? You were because I was watching anyway, so I do remember. Um, here we go. Here we go. We're going to watch this ship come in. We're watching the ship come in. Yep, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I'm hey, Mucky, you're a moron. <clears throat> Blood trails.